And we are live for the afternoon. It looks like the jury is just walking back into the courtroom. Johnny Depp is resuming this case with his legal team. I'm not even going to roll the intro. Thank you, Lawnards, for being here. Thank you for adhering to the chat replay crew. We will try to timestamp the testimony as best we can. We are still on direct examination, which means Johnny Depp's legal team is the team that's asking him questions. He has not gotten to cross-examination yet. The jury is just walking in. Everyone just stood up. So that's where we're at in this case. This morning's testimony, and again, if you want to watch this, there are um, un- unchatted over feeds all across the interwebs on YouTube, but this is legal commentary from the perspective of someone, me, who's been a lawyer for over 15 years and was a trial attorney. I kept identifying Ms. Vasquez as the attorney that was speaking. This is not Ms. Vasquez. This is Ms. Vasquez. So this is a different female attorney. I am not sure her name. We are resuming testimony. They just finished up with that wild incident in Australia. We're getting back into photographic exhibits. Um, So we are we are getting back to photographic evidence. We will see what they are pulling up. When it says published, that's when we get to see it. The witness gets to identify it. We get the foundation laid for it. And then it can get published if there's no objections. The jury doesn't get to see it first because, again, you can't put that back. You can't unring the bell. You can't Mr. put Depp, the shit in the you please explain to the jury what's reflected in this photograph? This has already been admitted into evidence. So we're moving on to this incident. Um, I believe that's... My face. Say it's your well, face. It's... My face. Definitely me. Okay, there we go. Um, uh, With this... After, uh, we are going to see more description of incidents uh, of domestic violence. This can be very triggering testimony. Just for everyone who's watching this, know that. A roundhouse uh, punch. This is going um, to be from Ms. Heard. descriptive of relational violence is, uh, for the rest of this testimony today. It's March. Uh, I believe that this is from what's been called a staircase incident. Am yeah. I correct? Am We're I right? going to be talking about the so staircase it, incident. You said you think this is from March of 2015? Um, I'm just looking at the top. He's like, I'm not sure. Do you remember who took this photograph? They can uh, refresh his recollection. And relative to when you had injured your finger, when was this photograph taken? That's helpful. Sorry? Relative to when you had injured your finger How long in Australia, after Australia, when was this photograph taken? Uh, the injury to my finger was sustained uh, uh, I believe it was a couple of weeks or so before this because I was we were back in <clears throat> Los Angeles for the surgery and rehabilitation of the uh, digit surgery so after I know you MRSA. Can't see your hand in this photograph but what was what would your hand have been like given this is what injury I'm, at this date? This is what I'm thinking they're taking away from um, this is Amber's going to insinuate well, that he punched was, her or hit her, but he was still casted was still very, dealing with MRSA um, on his right hand. So him still being casted wound. matters um, very much as to who's of, telling the truth in this incident. Um, Surgeries. When... The and remember, he's not taking your, narcotic painkillers uh, with this. Severed. Um, so getting to whether it's believable a very long time that and, uh, he hit her with his cast. So my finger was still, it was still a very fresh wound. Is going to be contentious. Um, I'm, I'm not That's sure why they're talking about this now. I, I'm, I, I'm That's why the timing sure matters. That, uh, the, the, this might have been around the time of the pin. In uh, the the pin that was uh, that was uh, put into my finger to the timing also is not super critical for him because other witnesses can testify to the timing. It, it, it wasn't a cast per se, as it was a it was a, it was bandaging. Um, I'm trying to take notes, Andy. Uh, when the when the did I eat? No, did I make a TikTok? Yes. Sort of here. Priorities. Um, that was extra padding for the. Uh, for the tip of the finger uh, protection and 
and also because of the, the, the pin that was in there. Um, so, as I'd said before, there were, there were, when Nurse Debbie would ask, you know, Diane, yes, I think they me, need to you know, on, really on scale dial into the fact pain. that he was not taking opioid uh, painkillers because he had detoxed and when the how painful the detox was is why they talked about it because it matters so much. It hurt a lot more and it became like a 12 out of 10. It mattered pain. so much that he's not on pain meds. So uh, it's not like he's not feeling anything. That, that, that was, he's in uh, a lot that, of pain. Uh, Yes, but that was right around then, and, and that's the why they talked about the detox the, so much. The infection, the MRSA. It's so good to see. Had already uh, been um, working its way. The MRSA was already shitty. A number of days. Mr. Depp, could you please explain to the jury the circumstances that led to you having um, the bruise that's reflected in this photograph? Tell us about the stairway incident. There. Again, there was another confrontation, another thank you, another confrontation, another argument about something or other. I and find his style. We were where he's not trying to look uh, at the jury too we were much. In, he's not trying to manipulate them. It in, feels like he's in, trying to be heard. Um, penthouse five, and I think area, that matters and will matter where, to them. Uh, Ms. Hurd had her office at the top of the stairs. And so the, the stairs came down, and then there was a, a landing, and then another set of stairs went down the opposite direction. Uh, and uh, this took place on the landing. We need photos um, of the inside of the penthouse. Where she was. It is so uh, hard for me to visualize this stuff. Coming out, you know, trying to. Uh, I need demonstratives. Well, trying to get to me, trying to hit me. They could object to, to speculation could, as to um, what she was trying to do. And then Whitney, he can only talk about what he saw. Was there? They're not going to do that. <clears throat> who stepped in the way? And uh, interesting thing that was was that inter was interesting was that, uh, now is that Whitney Hindsight. stepped in front of Amber and was facing Amber. So Whitney was trying to stop to Amber, stop but he's Amber. To seeming to indicate, right? And uh, keep listening, Emily. And uh, when she was in between us, Amber snuck in the. She reached, got the. He could object to that. Roundhouse in and and. Uh, Interesting that he characterized it as a roundhouse cheekbone punch or slap. He didn't really say. He you said call, roundhouse. Recall what Miss Heard was upset about at this time. I do not. I really don't. And was anyone else in the uh, pen, in penthouse five with you and Whitney and Miss Heard? Um, by that time, Mr. McGivern, we will hear had from. Been called. I believe that um, um, actually, Debbie, as I remember, Debbie Lloyd was at the front door of. Penthouse five standing Anya, by the door. I want the lawyers to admit Mr. them. Mr. McGivern was. I want them to give the jury a visual so they understand the the how this happened. Last they might not want to. Group of stairs. And uh, from the severed finger injury in Australia. And then the thump happened, and um, I got myself out of there, out of the situation, and I walked down the stairs to Mr. McGivern just to say, let's, let's get out of here, you know. Yes, Mandy. Amber um, said she thought I, her sister's life was in danger, and that's why she hit Johnny. This is one of the I few times she admits to hitting him. There. I don't recall what it was. Security already testified that but like a water bottle was, uh, or something was thrown. Thrown at me. It, was, it seemed like it was like a, I don't know if it was a, a bag of, like pens or, 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 but it was, it was from her office area. <clears throat> Good. Now ask the next question, lawyer. Don't let him start again. Don't let him start again. Can ask the next question. Plaintiff's exhibit 343. There we go. And we will hear from Mr. 
McGivern, I believe and we've heard from- For the from record, this is an Mr. audio Betts. recording. We, it's um, quite lengthy, so we intend to play certain portions of it. Okay. Unless they object for completeness. I wonder which there- No objection other than we'll just like to know what minute, second portions they're going to play. Okay, but the entire audio is in evidence, correct? Yes. Sir. And no yes, objection? Sir. Okay. Right. Okay, so we're going to be listening to audio. Would you like me to read the specific minutes now, or we can provide it to council afterwards? Hey, if you want it now, or as you go. Okay. They've been, uh, that's very courteous. We intend courteous. to play minute 25, 37 seconds through 26, 28. Um, one hour and 57 minutes, 21 seconds through one hour, 58 minutes, 54 seconds. Uh, Two hours, 38 minutes, 52 seconds through, excuse me, two hours, 38, 52 seconds. Very through, interested to see two what hours, 39 these are. Uh, minutes, 43 seconds. And if then you know anyone interested in this hours, trial, now is the time to share the stream. Minutes, one second. And have them come on in because this hours, is going to be interesting minutes, testimony. 20 seconds. And the audio is something that Was a lot of people clicks. watching this trial have been waiting Thank for. You. So, I will, if there are breaks in this, we will get to it. This is going to be a lot of audio. Depp is going to have to identify his voice and her voice. And then we're going to hear clips of this audio recording, who made the audio recording and why. But this audio recording, I believe, and this is my speculation before we start playing it, I believe is the audio recording of them talking about what happened after this fight. So we are going to get into the audio recordings. I don't think we'll get to cross till tomorrow. I really don't. I still have lunch here, by the way, like a, uh, like a kid. I have a cheese stick. And as we get into audio, I'm going to be watching it. Holy shit, that's so low. I'm going to try not to talk over this too much. I'm telling you, if you, if you lost memory last night of kicking me out the door with the fucker hitting me. Again, and you sorry. And your memory is gone from... Uh, they should pause the, the and ask him to identify the voices. And hitting me in the skull as I was bent down. I am Wait, sorry. if you have those memory, uh, 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 uh fucking, you know, di divots. I was upset. There was a lot going okay. on, and I was well, in the, on an ambient. Like, okay. why? Like, why are you obsessing over and the fact I was that on I can't an remember the way you remembered it? I said I was sorry. Okay, I didn't deny I it. That. I'm not talking about that. What I want ask him to identify the voices. Now is the ideal time. Are we just going to awkwardly all sit here and wait for them to queue up the next one? I guess so. So I will interject in between. Leron, so good to see you. The cheese stick's really good. It's, it's, it, it's not to get you mad. It's not to get, it's just to get out of a bad situation while it's happening before it gets worse. In Australia, when we had the big fight where I lost the tip of my finger, at least five bathrooms and two bedrooms I went to. To 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 avoid talking to me. To, to avoid escape working the, me now. That's to the escape problem. the fight. You don't escape the fight. You escape the solution. No. You escape the solution. No. You s escape figuring it out. We cannot work it out if you run away to the bathroom every time. Listen to me. Listen to me. A boxer can't go 12 rounds without a fucking minute break. I'm not not giving you a minute break. You do it at minute three at the beginning of an argument. No. There are rounds, man. And when it gets too fucking hairy, the ref splits them apart or whatever. But I'm, I'm, all I'm saying is you, 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 you can't have a solution if the argument just keeps mounting and mounting and mounting and mounting. I fucking go to the into the bathroom and sit on the floor. Bam, bam, bam. Here you come. I come out. Fight, fight, fight. Crazy. Escalated. I go. I split again. I go to another fucking bathroom or a bedroom or something. Knock, knock, knock. Bang, bang, bang. You kept coming to get me. This is consistent with his earlier testimony and the testimony of their marriage therapist that he kept trying to leave as she would escalate the fight 
and that he would want to hide from the fighting. And the therapist also said that triggered her abandonment issues and she rather stay and fight and physically fight than have him leave. And this is again, their own words of the audio. So we're going in between this, but it is very consistent with what he's previously I said. One of the fucking clothes, fucking pots and that's, a diff that's different. Fucking else at me. That's different. That's different. That's one does not <laughs> negate the other. That's irrelevant. It's a complete non sequitur. Just because I've thrown pots and pens does not mean that you Vases. come and knock on the door. That's just because there are vases does not mean that you come and knock on the door. Really, I should just let you throw. I'm not saying that. You're saying that. You're putting words in my mouth and then making no, non sequiturs. I'm giving you a situation. No, you're trying to justify how you don't or do come to the door no, based I'm on whether justify. I throw pots and pens. It's irrelevant. No, I'm justifying how you. you, you seem to think that there's this cowardice in me that runs away and I don't fight for you. And you're justifying that by saying I throw pots and pans? Okay, cool. Let's no, talk about everything you do wrong. I'm not the one who... Wow. So this is, again, going into their dynamic and going into the it's a non sequitur. He talked about feeling like the circular arguments that they couldn't get back to the point and he's having to sit there and replay this in front of a court. It's not fun. This has got to be very painful for both of them, but it also to, illustrates Travis, what I he's said, been no, saying. I said to you, hey, tell Travis what just happened. You oh, you tell, tell me to do it. You yeah. told me to. You said, go do that. I said, no, tell, tell him what just happened. And I lied. And that you punched me in You're the right. fucking thing. And you, you figured it out. Face. And you said, no, fuck it. No, I didn't. What the fuck are you talking about? And I, I watched you, you lie. And then I, I didn't I punch said, you, by the way. You, I'm sorry that I didn't uh, uh, hit you across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you. Babe, you're not punched. Don't tell me what it feels like to be punched. You, you know, you've been a lot of fights, been around a long time. I don't know. Yeah, no, I, when you fucking have a close You face. didn't get punched. You got hit. I'm sorry I hit you like this, but I did not punch you. I did not fucking deck you. I fucking was hitting you. I don't know what the motion of my actual hand was, but you're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. You're not punched. How, what am I supposed to do? Do this? I, I'm not sitting here bitching about it, am I? You are. That's the difference between me and you. You're a fucking baby. Because you, start you are such a baby! Grow the fuck up, you Johnny! Start a physical fight? I did start a physical fight. Yeah, I wish I could see the jury reacted yes, to this. You did. So you did the right thing, the big thing. The, you know what? You're admirable. These audios also, the entire audios Mr. are Beck, available could you on the internet. Explain to the jury what they just heard on those audio recordings. I didn't punch you, I just hit you. You're not punched. Um. It's very sad. So for all of you that this is triggering to, I understand if you need to come back, we're going to try to timestamp where the audio was in this. Um, what, what was displayed on the audio recordings <sighs> was um, very much the tone and the aggression and the attitude um, and the need for a fight from Ms. Heard. That was, I don't know if that was some need for attention, but um, I don't. It, you shouldn't speculate. That, 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 was, that was a sound. Explain what it is. It's us fighting. That I had gotten you very used to. There you go. The, the squabbling, the, the, you know the the raising of the voice to to essentially excommunicate anything that I had to say about uh, the situation, um, but then uh, and I I do remember the <clears throat> that incident. I believe that, that that's from the um, when I was um, I was in the bathroom and I, I was in fact taking a shower and uh, th this was in penthouse three and she came banging on the door banging on the door banging on the door I didn't answer I was in the shower I couldn't deal 
with it. I didn't want to deal with any more of uh, of that. Oh, sarcastic, demeaning, um, aggressive, violent, toxic spew. Uh, and so I was taking a shower and I didn't want to answer the door. She kept banging. And then I finally got out of the shower and I opened the bathroom door about just that that much just so I could have a a good hold on the door uh, in case she tried to burst in and I was right she did uh, she tried to, she was bathroom doors go in uh, she was pushing her all her weight on the door trying to get in and I was pushing back because I, I didn't want to let her in because I didn't obviously didn't want the conversation. She was not in the best of moods. You can you can hear. Uh, so when I was pushing the bathroom door, trying to close it, and was almost closed, she suddenly kind of yelped in in pain and she she screamed out ow my toes or my foot or something and so in that second i thought possibly her 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 foot had gotten caught under the door which would of course not feel great on the foot or the toes so i thought she was maybe injured so i i knelt down to have a look the the door was still it was it was still pretty well about that much open and when i knelt down uh on my hands and knees to look at her foot to see the injury um she kicked uh the bathroom door uh into my head it so it it um there's more yeah, audio of them talking the about door her toe head. getting hurt and that i think and, is why uh, he's addressing it now i was i was completely because there will be more audio of that taken aback by such a, 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 a corrosive horrific move so i stood up and i believe i i stood up and i at the, but but this at this point the door was open. I stood up and I said, I think I said, yep. I think I said, what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? And um, the next move was just a bang and just a. Uh, they regularly recorded each jaw. other, so yes. And uh, in this incident, her toe did get hurt by the door. That was another shocker. How so long she, after that did you start recording? That's a good Sorry. job. Of How long her after that did you start recording that audio recording that we just heard? Give more context that, that, to this that testimony. audio recording was about. Which is appropriate. Her. Uh, how long? No, just how long? Trying to make less of what had happened. She needs to narrow In him fact, back down. Trying to make less of what had happened by. That's a conclusion for the jury to come story to. story to me that didn't make any sense and it certainly didn't make any sense since I was they there. They need to get back to when target. he was recording and why he um, was recording. So I wanted not what the jury heard. She should be cutting him off. Some confirmation from someone with some semblance of a uh, hopefully a we're mind getting to why understand what was happening. Uh, I wanted Mr. McGivern to come up and I asked her to tell him what had just happened. And her answer was essentially, I don't know what he's talking about. Nothing happened. He's fine. And um, once again, uh, I told Mr. McGivern, no. time to uh, leave the premises. 
Mr. Depp, I'd like to show you now what's I wish she would have followed up. Exhibit 162. I really wish she would have followed up with when in time did this happen and why were you recording? Because those questions are now left lingering because he didn't fully answer them. Um, because what we've heard from the therapist and what we've seen online, I don't know if it's admiss admitted into evidence yet, is that they would record this as part of their therapy and go back over it. And Johnny Depp talks about this in other testimony that he was recording it because he thought he was crazy. He hasn't said gaslighting yet, I don't think, but that's part of it, like recording um, it because up, he's being told what happened isn't happening. But I wish they would have narrowed that back down and realized he didn't quite answer that and that was needed. So I hope that they would have. Let's see what they're bringing in. This is probably a photograph. I'm going to try not to sing photograph, but it's stuck in my head. Thanks to Nick Ricada. He sings, look at this photograph every time they put up a photograph, but Mr. so Depp, what is this a picture of? Once this is published to the jury, it will be up on the screen uh, and we will see it. That is a, that's a, all the attorneys photograph are seeing it. Uh, the blade of, a of an old, like, like a Bowie knife. Um, that's the photograph of the, blade Bowie knife with an inscription on it to me from Ms. Hurd, who at questions. the time I referred to as uh, Slim. He's talked um, about their nicknames Honor, yesterday. Would you like to move um, exhibit um, 90, plaintiff's exhibit 92 into evidence? Mm -hmm. No objection. Mr. Dub, what does it say on this knife? Hasta la muerte. And what does that mean? Until death. And then what does it say after that? X, X, slim. What do you and guys think slim? of her giving him a knife? Is her, that says till death. Her give you this knife? Not till death do we part. Till death. I, well, I want to know what y'all think. Her, I, I believe it's around 2015. Can we please take this down and pull up? Oh, no, no, no. I want to screenshot. 93. Damn it. <laughs> I think I got all of it. 93, yes. I'll have to go back in a minute. The Bowie knife is something. Oh, I did. I did. Hold on. Oh, ah, I didn't mean to pause it. Sorry. Mr. Depp, what is this a photograph of? That's the um, knife in full view. That's the full um, side of that. Knife. You guys, yes, very uh, stabby. Plaintiffs would move plaintiffs exhibit. No, I want to talk about it later. Well. I screenshotted it because I want to talk about right, it later. Because in the context of their relationship, it comes off as um as not sweet and romantic. Mr. Depp, do you me. recall the occasion on which Miss Hurd gave you this knife? I'd forgotten about this. Uh, I, I don't recall exactly the occasion, whether it was uh, my birthday of 2015 or if it was a Christmas gift. Um, we can take this down, please. Thank you. Um, Mr. Depp, I'd now like to show you what's been marked as plaintiff's exhibit 65. Wow. Definitely not a cake knife, Chad. I appreciate your humor. It's wild. Like, it's wild. And I believe wild. this has already been offered into evidence. No, he doesn't collect so knives. So if we could please publish to the jury. Thank you. This was taken by his security team. This has already been admitted into evidence. Mr. Depp, what's reflected in these photographs? My face. Um, there were some scratches. Um, I, uh, another altercation and there were some misheard uh, come out me with uh, her nails or hand scratch scratching at me and who took these photographs of you once again i believe this was mr pet sean pet and when were these photographs taken Uh, uh, seems to be Christmas or uh, ten, 10 days before Christmas, the 15th of, um, 
December 2015. Mr. Depp, do you remember what led to um, you having these scratches on your face? This was... Um, I believe that's the same stairway incident. Yet again, another confrontation. Or a different... I might where, be misremembering. His head of security um, talked about it in Bet's testimony, what, a day ago, a day and a half ago? As was my regular practice, there had been a, an altercation. She, she, she was... Um, <clears throat> she had some rage issue with me and um, I remember that I was trying to go to my corner as it were which is I went I was going into my office in, in the in penthouse three which is upstairs they owned five and as I was up approaching there. the door to my office um, Miss Heard ran out of the master bedroom or our bedroom and uh, started uh, just throwing wild punches at, uh, at at me at the back of my head at the side of my head at my anything that she could connect with and um, I had to uh, I I would have to show you uh, sort of the, how I tried to avoid the uh, attack. If it's, if it's all right, yes, yes, sir. If it, it, if I'm walking, he tries to show how these things way. happen, and I just wonder or if it's well, easier for him to physically explain. You are. He's done this a couple times now. I, I walked across the the. But also, I'm and visual and like that. As I'm approaching the door, so I get suddenly, it. I'm just getting cl clobbered from behind, and and one's natural primal instinct is to is to kind of duck and cover. So I ducked and covered, but they didn't stop. So I I came up this this like this, um, sort of protecting my face, but at the same time with their arms swinging wildly. I uh, I put my arms out and I and I was able to get her into a. Uh, I I grabbed her. A bear hug or something, just to to stop her from. It's okay to say to stop her from hitting me. me. Yep. Nope. Um. And while holding her in that position, uh, she was still trying to, you know, she had her legs, she had her, she could kick, she could, you know, she could knee me. And she, uh, so she, she was still um, jump, you know, kind of very angry, very animated. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, it was unpleasant. He does what that when he gets uncomfortable. At the end of that situation. How did it because end? Because of the grabbing of the arms and, and and holding them to her side, so that I didn't receive any more blows. Um, and and she was still fighting. I believe there was some kind of contact with our or heads or foreheads as would happen if you're trying Don't to explain just tell what uh, happened calm someone like that um i think she says that this is when she was headbutted before she went on the james Corden show she, uh, and her nose was broken she accused says me of he headbutting yeah. her okay uh, keep reading uh, emily of, of giving her a, a headbutt and uh breaking her nose But, um, and that's why we're keying in on was, these incidents. There was no blood. His security. There was no, I, I didn't see hit her nose. I, his security took photos of him. If there was anything at all. It was a, it, it was a bump of, uh, 
but wouldn't they have taken photos of her if she was injured too? Well, I'm trying to restrain her. She's trying to get out of it. There's going to be some contact. Don't here and there. give any more Accidental exposition. Contact, but not a headbutt. How did you uh, escape this altercation? So we bumped heads. That's a good use of words from his lawyer. How did you escape? Very good wording from his lawyer. After she'd made the remark about the fact that I headbutted her, which which was just impossible, um, she she split. She she huffed off. I, I let her go. She huffed away, and she was gone for about seven or eight minutes. And then when she came back, I was in the. I was, then I was in the bedroom of penthouse three. He has to explain these incidents. Our bedroom, because the broken back, nose is one of the later, biggest incidents. She had a Kleenex that we talked about. Tissue to her nose, and um, and she then she pulled it away from her nose and she showed it to me. And I also want to know where security red. was. It was indeed like red color on the on the tissue. But me, I know that there was no connection to her nose. No part of my body made connection to her nose or eyes or anything like So she said, uh, she took it away and she showed it to me. She said, way to go, Johnny. You broke my nose. You broke my nose. And I knew I hadn't. So I said, "In you go into sort of placation mode, which is, oh, my God, let me see. Are you okay? What happened? Let me, let me see. He's doing and a good job explaining why and he's so placating. I just tried to calm the situation as best I could. Um, which, again, hopefully the their expert will get to. I was waiting for her. Um, to dispense with that Kleenex because I didn't trust it. And so I waited and went. She dropped it into the wastebasket in her bathroom <clears throat> or in our bathroom and uh, left the room, went somewhere downstairs, I think, I don't know. And then I pulled the Kleenex out of the, out of the trash uh, bin and I inspected it pretty closely huh. and realized that it was nail polish. It was nail varnish or polish. <clears throat> huh. Oh, that's a face. Mr. Depp, shortly after December 15th, 2015, where did you and Miss Heard go for the I've holidays? not heard that before. Um, wow. We, there was, it was, uh, had been planned for a while that we would be going to the island and we would be going to the island with my um, I want to know how he knew it was nail polish. I um, mean, you can Lily spell Rose nail polish, Jack, but I want to know Lily how Rose's he knew. Boyfriend, and I wish she had asked more about that. Uh, and and um, uh, there there were uh, there was, there's a friend of Amber's called uh, Alice Temperley, I believe her name was, is, and her boyfriend Greg Williams, who's a, uh, a very well known photographer and. Uh, both very nice people and their kids. She went on a, like a she, photo she shoot right after this. To the island, and I thought, okay, great. Um, and so, yeah, that's 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 so that's where we went for the holidays. And what happened on the island in December two thousand fifteen? Many things. But, um, Was there any violence? I misheard against you. Many, oh, many things he yes, says. Yes, there, 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 uh, there were a couple of incidents that were, again, just... RNA, we will get into this. She's had a prior domestic time, violence arrest, and that, I'm sure, will come the, up. One of these incidents would occur. It, it seemed to get worse and worse. 
that is to say a nose that's bumped and not broken can gush blood absolutely anything like that um i'd set up on the on the back porch of the house i'd set up an area um, oh y'all i don't doubt that he knew a, it was nail polish usual, his um, lawyers need to elicit and, that testimony before the jury uh, uh, so that they can know. Of mineral spirits, linseed oil, brushes, everything. So they can only consider pain. what they're told. So I had set it up for, uh, and uh, and for some, uh, and again, I remember sitting at the table where most of the uh, paint brushes and the can. Sarah, he talked that about that in his morning testimony was. today. And. Uh, the argument again escalated, 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 and she broken noses bleed a lot. They also tend to make a little bit of a popping or a cracking sound. Kind of mineral spirits, and uh, and uh, chucked it at my face. She threw it at my face, and it, what are mineral spirits? It, uh, it, it 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 struck me right at the bridge of the nose, sort of the forehead, bridge of the nose area, and. Uh, it hurt. Who else was around when this happened? Well, thankfully, my children and uh, Lily Rose's boyfriend were over towards the cafe. Um, I, I, at that point, I didn't know uh, that anyone else had uh, was around or had witnessed anything. Uh, I thought it was just Amber and I, but apparently, um, the, 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 there are four staff who, who who work on the island. He's asking who was around. That's not hearsay. I don't think any such statements yet. You can go ahead. And who was around is not okay. hearsay. Shut up. Um, I like, but he's um, getting sassy with the lawyer too. We can get snappy, but this isn't hearsay. Sorry, this, the staff that work on your yes, island. Yes, thank you yeah. for resetting him. Good. So there are indeed four staff who work on on the island and live there uh, all year round um who take care of everything thank you the mineral spirits is the paint uh, can i remember him getting a paint can thrown at him it was two just of them when that incident was gets in that area and with jumbled for me the, uh, uh, violence how, how sustained as to I mean, unless you can lay a foundation how he would know Certainly. that if it was not hearsay it's Mr. not Depp, hearsay. It's not offered for the truth. These staff members witness part of this altercation. This is where this gets annoying. If they told him, that's more of a problem. These people, as I said, they, 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 there's, there's staff on the island, though I consider them family. Did he see them? And see they're him? dear to me. I don't and, doubt uh, that. I, I believe it's, it is mutual. I've known them a very long time. Um, they were visibly, um, they were visibly shaken. What he saw, by how they acted. Objection. Again, if you can lay foundation, if he saw them there. She's well, laying Mr. foundation. Did you see any of these individuals shortly after you had this altercation? With Observing their behavior not, is foundation. That is good enough. Oh. Were they, did he see them? Are they actually there? If he didn't, if it's something they told him, then it's hearsay. It's what Mr. he Depp, witnessed. Did you see any of your staff members at the house when you and Miss Hurd had that altercation? I object. Once Miss Hurd had stormed off, um, I sort of sat there dazed and confused for. What uh, did you see? A few minutes, and then I walked. Jackie, we'll talk about this around the, the house, and I saw Tara and That's fine. saw I saw okay, stop okay. objecting why are they so worried about this testimony if I'm the jury I'm like ooh you mentioned Tara who's Tara what do you want us to not Tara's hear the I would perk island. up at this point Mr. Depp I'd like to discuss April 2016 now mm. um, she could have kept asking what he witnessed when is when is Miss Hurd's birthday 22nd this is the birthday of April party incident. Oh, her birthday is coming up. And you get to be in, in court for your birthday, Amber Heard. How is Miss Heard celebrating her birthday? Um, this is when he was late to the party. We'd set up a. We'll talk about the broken nose of it all later. Her, which was she wanted to uh, sure. 
have a dinner um, with her, with all her friends. And uh, Josh um, drew um, Rocky's Rocky's boyfriend, who uh, was some sort of chef. Uh, told uh, he asked her what she would like for him to cook. That's hearsay, I guess. I'm not interested. Sure, it's offered for the truth. The whole court answer. laughed. He got it. Okay, all right. Well, then. did you hear everybody in court laugh? Did you hear everybody laugh? The jury's probably laughing way. too. Mr. Drew. That was funny. Who was a chef? I don't believe it's hearsay. Uh, Mr. Drew had made Mexican food Ms. Hurd's favorite. Is that better? And. And what were you doing that day before Ms. Hurd's birthday celebration? That was funny. Um, I had been in a room uh, for many, many hours with uh, a group of <clears throat> a group of accountants. Yuck! Uh, new accountants. No offense, accountants. And it just sounds like a long day. They were going through. He was late uh, from a meeting. Uh, essentially, the situation that I was in financially, which was uh, um, a, a real shock. I'm very me. interested in this. I had no idea, and I know this sounds ridiculous, but I prefer to think of the work as opposed to how much I'm getting paid. So I... I had no idea how much money I'd made. I love that his accounts are like, this is I what you are. I figured if I was working, at, it was money. And he's like, what? So everything would be all right. Um, they informed me that uh, I had been, um, well, that, uh, quite quite a, 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 an inordinate amount of, sum of money had been, um, was gone. Mm -hmm. It had uh, disappeared, and uh, like the rum. After having worked thirty something years in the industry, um, I'm sorry I could hear Miss Brett. No, you're, you're oh, fine. Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, that the ADHD is here at, for at, you, at John, where, with the audio um, distraction. It's like what I was to learn. I I I, I was. Exactly, financially. And uh, it was a very long meeting. And I knew, of course, that Ms. Hurd's birthday dinner was destroyed at, I believe, 8.30. Not and, destroyed. Uh, Not destroyed. I Close captioning to start. A number of times uh, from the meeting saying, this is, this is uh, probably going to go long. And I think I might be a little late. I'm sorry, but it's you know important, and I'm I'm I, I'm going to be a bit late for the dinner. And I apologized all over the place, and <clears throat> so when I left um, and picked up something at the house, which I believe was her gift. Um, and we heard this testimony in similar fashion from his head of security who took him from that meeting and then took him back to the house and then took him back to downtown about the party. So we've heard areas around this. Asked if I could bring some wine and some weed. Reasonable request. Texted back, sure. And then by the time I got to uh, arrived at penthouse five for the party i was about an hour and 40 minutes late maybe something like that Before i mean you it's arrived, late. how many drinks had you had oh i think i'd had a glass of wine with there was, there was one bottle of wine that uh, ed white had brought to the meeting that <clears throat> we between i don't know how many five or six of us we had a we. we I'll talk about the bit with this at break. Wine, Allie. Can you tell it's the jury who Ed White is? Oh yeah, sorry. Ed White was my, at the time he was my um, 
I'm left hanging on that too. I want to know where the what, manager. I want to know more about the money. Um, and he the business manager. A, here's some wine. We're talking to accountants. Um, Take a deep breath. He was quite a professional, you know, nearly forensic uh, uh, business manager, and he had shown me things that, uh, that uh, from 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 I'm my just former curious. business it's not relevant. were quite Jack, disturbing. Hearsay. It's not hearsay. He showed me things. I believe he said he showed him. He showed me things that were quite disturbing. Uh, yes, I looked at papers. Maybe they're hearsay papers. <laughs> I, I, I believe he was being shown financial documents. All right. All right. They're so, not relevant I'll to this trial. We just want the answer. Hearsay that might it's not hearsay, right. but it lacks foundation and lacks personal um, knowledge. But it goes Mr. to Duffin, why he had a glass of wine. Party, so it goes Mr. to the effect on the hearer, but he's over the hearsay Very objections. Cold. Hearsay what matters. Say to you? Not much. Not much, except occasionally she would tear herself from the conversation that she was in just to lean towards me. I was I was sitting to <clears throat> to her right. And I would get a, a quick earful of, I can't believe you, I can't believe you've done this to me on my birthday. I can't believe I'm so embarrassed. I think it was her 30th um, birthday. You know, she was very upset. Which I found odd because I'd kept her informed all, all, all day. And the last text that I'd received was a request for wine and marijuana. So when I got there, and so I thought she'd that, be chill uh, when I showed up with the wine and the weed attitude. And then I was surprised. I, what could I do? Um, so I just made the best, best of it and talked to her friends and, uh, because they were all her friends except for, I believe nurse Aaron, Aaron was there, I believe. What's Aaron's last name? Uh, Aaron Borum, nurse Aaron who had been the nurse assigned to Ms. Hurd. Amber's nurse. So I just I, I just had conversations with the various people there, her makeup artist. Um, yes, Mr. Unicorn, that's Melanie exactly Glaces what it's getting. Melanie was there with her fella, and I remember speaking French with them. Um, and um, I didn't really eat. It wasn't feeling it did you have any drinks at the once you arrived at the birthday party uh, uh wine how Gla many glasses how many glasses of wine did you have in may of 2016 uh, I don't, I, I, fuck maybe, me if maybe, i know maybe because the, they were like large you know the large sort of um bordeaux glasses so yeah maybe two two glasses of wine by the time it started to uh, His wind ex, down. Vanessa Paradis is French, so how I'm many, not surprised that um, he speaks French. How many drinks did you observe Miss Hurd consume after you arrived at the party? I, I really couldn't say because I I I all I saw was just there was she had a, she was drinking wine. He's like, I wasn't counting. And did it she seem to you that she had been drinking wine drinking prior to your arrival? Wine. He was an hour and a half late. Of course she drank wine before he showed um, up. I was sure since I was an hour and 40 minutes late that Miss Heard was well into the wine before I got there, yes. <laughs> one way to say it. Well, she wanted him to bring more wine. It's a fair assumption that the they were running low it? on wine. Uh, um, and it was kind of, you know, one person would say, well, I better get out of here. And then two more couples or two more people would say, yeah, time to go. And then it just uh, wound down. There was uh, Mr. Drew, Miss Pennington, um, Whitney, possibly Whitney. The sister. Um, 
and that was about it that was sort of left <clears throat> there. And what happened after the guests left the party? Um, she was free to uh, to commence with the uh, the usual um, verbal barrage, and I at that point there was so much in my head from the meeting and that's why they asked about the I papers i thought it was a bit much cuz he had had a really difficult me. financial meeting i'm sorry it, it seemed quite bratish it seemed quite childish bratish that miss heard was holding it seemed uh, petulant that she was mad about that he had such a big thing going on me for having been late to I the hope they get into party when she knew very well she was well informed that, hearing, that I was in that meeting a, an intense meeting that had a lot to do with not just my life and my future but my children's and um what would I didn't know what was going to happen to, to I didn't know the financial happen. documents go to his state start going away. of didn't. mind. So um, <clears throat> it felt it, 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 I'm sure, of course, she felt something, but it felt unfair. It felt small comparatively. If your loved one or your husband. Uh, uh, has had some very serious issues brought before him. Um, so uh, when she engaged in her normal kind of banter of uh, trying to poke at me and get me to, I hope react, they bring this before the jury or at least some. I of literally this. just got into, I got into bed. Um, About how I bad the financial was. was on. And I and I was reading, and I suppose uh, Miss Heard was down in her area, taking off her makeup and changing into sleep clothes, whatever. And uh, she entered the bedroom <clears throat> while I was laying on my side of the bed, reading, and she was still rattling off all the yeah the financial meeting was bad wrong the jury doesn't I'd, know uh, that done to her in that particular day and and how unreliable i am that's why he was talking about the former business uh, manager a, not her you know, the former a, business manager so that's stuff you guys can research I was, um, we need and I, the jury and I to know not, more i did not engage verbally nothing i sat there or laid there reading my book and when that, when she didn't get a jump out of me or a jolt out of me, she got out of bed. She walked around the bed. After she this. Came to my side. And uh, again, the, the, you know, you, you, you've got. Uh, comes later, I believe. You've got a person who is uh, throwing multiple shots at your. At your face, at your head, at your neck, at your at anything she could hit. So I I got up out of bed and I grabbed her by the shoulders and I sat her down on the bed. <clears throat> and I said, I'm leaving. This is Please don't get off the bed. Please don't follow me. Please don't try and stop me. I'm leaving. And she got up off the bed and she squared off at me in the doorway of our bedroom. And I said, what do you, what do you want to do? Hit me again? Would you like to hit me again? And I said, go ahead, hit me. And then I just said, did that, is that what you wanted? 
Would you like another? Bam! There's the second one. And I said, good, now you're done. Grabbed her by the shoulders, walked her to the bed, sat her down and said, don't follow me, leave me alone. I'm out, I'm gone. I went, I grabbed a few things. I believe this is the incident and I got out where she says I went to, that he um, thrust her on the bed so hard. My other house. On he hit her up against the bed so hard that it broke the bed. I don't know if I there's some photos of that. She was leaving the following day for uh, Coachella, which is a, a, a it's a Coachella uh, is like a, it's a big event, a concert. Yeah, we know what Coachella is. Many, many bands. The jury and, might not. This leads um, up to the poop on yeah. the bed. The poop on the bed yeah, happened the when she left for Coachella. She, she, she and her friends were going to Coachella for the weekend. So we're getting to the poop on the bed. And um, for all of you, like, what are you talking about? She shit on his bed. Well, he says she shit on his bed. That was it. That was, that was it. Mr. What Jeff, happened when you April went back? April 21st, 2016. To the when was the next time that you actually saw Miss Heard in person? No, what happened when you went back to the apartment before Coachella? Miss Heard, well, I left Penthouse 3. I left. At 4.30 in the morning, uh, on, it was actually April, it was actually her birthday, it was 4.30 uh, 4 in the morning, April 22nd, and that's when I left, and from that moment on, I did Take not out. see Ms. Heard until May 21st. And why was that? Um, it's my dad's birthday. I had received some news. Don't say it's probably hearsay. You can say what happened. This goes to effect on the hearer. As absurd and grotesque. Poop. And cruel. Um, and then I was shown a picture of what the problem was. I had gone to Mr. Bett and said, uh, she's in Coachella, she's at Coachella. I think it's a good time to go downtown so that I can get some of my things, you know, and uh, get them out of there, especially the things that were- He left uh, uh, the ECB. To me, you know, children things, things from, so he Friends, wanted to clean out his house Brando, and put that Hunter, stuff in his other Thompson, his other places. Things that were important to me. Sweet and he sir. said, I Sweet don't sir. think now's a good time to go. Uh, and I thought, it's the perfect time. She's not going to be home for two I days. don't think now's a good time to go. And then he showed me a photograph on this his telephone. Photograph. of uh, Objection, Your Honor. False hearsay. The photo's not hearsay. Photograph, Your Honor. As being relayed to him by Mr. Bett. He, he it's says a photo. He, it on his fo he on his saw phone. it. Overrule the objection as the photograph. Yeah, overrule it. Photograph what was the photograph of? Poop on the bed. It was of shit on the bed. Poop. Say it. Poop. It was a. It was a. Poop. It was a photograph of the bed, our bed. And. Um. And on my side of the bed. Um, Say it. Was human fecal matter. Yep. Um, so I understood why poop. It wasn't a good time to go down there. Um, my initial response to that I'm surprised he said fecal was. I mean, I laughed. Because it's it was, so fucking ludicrous. It was so outside. It was so bizarre. And so grotesque. You could see him just being like, it's, fu it's so fucking ridiculous. Um, and um, so I did not go down there that day. Yeah, don't go clean out your things. Mr. We need Dad, to clean the shit off the bed. house during this time? It's poop, Your Honor. It's a picture of poop. We all know what happened.
The jury needed to know. Um, not good. Not good at all. My mom, my mom was in um, Cedar Sinai Hospital, and uh, she was she was on her way out. She was dying. How she, often were you going to see her during this time? Excuse me. How often were you going to see her during this time? Um, uh, as much as I could under the circumstances. Um, but the, the, and uh, when I when I, I had food stuck in my when I did go go and yep. Get to see my. This is why she's mom. called Amber Turk. Um, she was pretty much. Her lawyers said it wasn't her, though. A, they pulled a full shaggy. It wasn't me. Speech. Her speech had left her. At that time, her. She she was she seemed to she, her eyes were still open and she was. She could, kind of react with her eyes, but she couldn't speak. And then not long after that, um, once her eyes closed, she lay there for the duration of her, of her life, which ended on the 20th of May. Um, the, the, the night. a very compassionate way to enter into this question. It needs to be addressed. Would anyone, I suppose. There was one thing that I couldn't fathom was I, I mean I, I brought my kids to see Betty Sue in the hospital and uh, at that time she was not functioning. She was not Responsive. She, I mean, she, Sorry about she the audio, was guys. That was me. Still. She was I had food fighting, stuck in my teeth. Still inside, but my apologies. Was, that was me. She was. Uh, Sorry, y'all. Lying in the I food bed. Um. And what? Excuse this uh, analogy, but all I could think of was how if if she's conscious. Of, of if she's conscious of everything that's going on around her, but has no ability to speak, has no ability to move. Um, I I knew that the one thing, as far as Betty Sue was concerned, the last thing that she would have wanted was to have ended up lying there on a what it's a what, hard thing it was like there's my mom lying there on a deli platter and it was a it was a horrible image but i brought my kids in to say goodbye and we all spoke into her ear and uh and then she passed away later. So she had asked about how his mom passed and how it affected him. That was the question. So it was... Because uh, this is right before... It was painful, but there was some side of it too. At least to me. That in, 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 in a way it was... Uh, I was happy for her. Why was that? I, I can't... Because I can't... Imagine Betty Sue or my mom. I can't imagine anyone lying there in quite probably, quite possibly was a, uh, a, a kind of a locked in syndrome. And if she's surrounded by 10 people looking at her lying there in that, on that deli platter, if you will, I, 
was happy for her that she was out of pain, out of frustration, out of, I, I, I was happy that she'd moved, not happy, I was relieved. He was that she was caring no for her towards situation. the end of her life and was seeing her Though, pretty regularly from all other accounts. Those you love leave. We're the ones stuck with the uh, with the pain, with the grieving. Um, no, this is Depp's attorney. So but, Depp's but attorney is questioning him because it's a civil case. So no prosecutor. Her, 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 just his attorneys and her attorneys. Send off, I suppose. And I will try to mess um, with that. But it was no, no. It it, it 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 opened my eyes quite a lot to a number of things. And what were some of those things that your mother's death opened your eyes to? I think this gets up to why he decided to leave. That life is a bird song. Why he decides to leave the marriage. That. Which makes all of this relevant. That what feels like a hundred years is in fact a second, millisecond. Nobody can count those things. You know, so I had made peace with Betty Sue because I understood where she came from and I understood how difficult her childhood was. And I understood that she had. So he's going with she did the best the, she could. Uh, so he found forgiveness. Proper training or proper. Probably in therapy. Teaching or the proper background to, to be anything other than what she had been when we were younger. I, I forgave her for all that. Um, as one would, should. You gonna so do? I was, uh, so I think the loss, it opened my eyes to the fact that, that life's that, too short. That, that, yes. Try in relationships, whether friendships, whether courtships, whether marriage, whether this, whether that. Try your best. Try. If it's not going to work, it's not going to work. He will be cross examination, cross examined, and and by her attorneys. Probably tomorrow, based on time. If you're going to get out of it, if you're going to probably make for the whole day end, tomorrow, which I had decided that I, 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 it was, somebody had to call it, and I decided that I would call Amber. I should have warned. And tell her that my... The poop pictures are online. Mom had, had died <clears throat> that day. And then I very calmly said, look, I've, I've made a decision, and I think it's the best thing. So he called and said, my mom's died. I'm going, by the way, I'm going to file for divorce. We're done. That's why all but this I'm is relevant. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to cite irreconcilable differences. I'm not going to cite uh, any violence. I'm not going to, uh, I'm going to state this. We simply, the two of us, we simply don't want to feel as Chad, though we. I warned we you about the googling. A, 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 a collar around each other's neck and a leash attached to it, and then this piece of paper that proves that that's true. So, what I thought was best was we want to end this in love and take the idea of. Um, Ownership, ownership of one another out of the picture. And, and that's how I approached Miss Heard um, with that. And, uh, and then she strategized so the divorce and filed first. So why did you go over to the penthouses on May 21st, 2016? is not unheard of. Uh, Ms. Ms. Heard had requested celebrity uh, divorces. that I come over to, to, to have a talk. 
He doesn't to strike explain, me as super calculating. Explain things. And, if he was, he would have he would have filed uh, for divorce so and then told there, her but, uh, if he was being calculating in this. Wanted to gather up some of those things, you know, precious things that you live with. Um, so, so, yeah, so I, I went over there to have a discussion, what I thought would be uh, calm understanding. And I thought I figured she understood as well as I did that, that there was no way back. And I, I also felt that she would understand that. It can. I'll talk about um, that on break a little bit particularly with celebrities. It was the best thing for both of us. And there were no, uh, there was nothing to, there, there should have been nothing to fight over. It was clear. I, I had told her that I would take care of her and uh, all that. And, um, and then she, <clears throat> she started to, she was telling me about the, um, uh, she brought up the situation of the her fecal matter on the bed. Ah, she brought up the shit. And I, uh, <laughs> uh, and she just tried to blame it on the dogs. But Why the do did you? Her attorneys you tried to have been the dogs? blame it on fecal phobia. The dogs we. Their teacup Yorkies, they weigh about four pounds each. Um, the photograph that Blame I it saw. On the dog. And, 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 I, I mean, it's I too much shit for the dogs. Those dogs for many years. Um, and so did Hilda Vargas. Um, did we establish who Hilda was? The housekeeper. She's a house manager. She's a woman who's been with me for thirty plus years. You know, from the very beginning, and she was the one who photographed it. Um, it was clear she knew the dogs as well as I did. And that, that was not none of That's that. That did not, not come from dog poo. Dog. It just didn't. Mr. Depp, could we back up a little bit? Who went over to the penthouses with you on May 21st? I went to the penthouses. This is important because this is before she files Jerry for the domestic Judge violence restraining Depp. order six days after he and leaves the country. I so this timing matters, and I'm glad they're tightening it up. Case, please pay particular attention and stay as close to the door, you know, stay at the door, or if you got a split, come back quick, you know, if they went down to the security shack or whatever it was, come, don't, don't linger, get back. Because if you hear anything, if you hear, he wanted someone with him, uh, uh, screaming, you got to get in sense. there. So leave the door unlocked and, and spring in there. If you hear something. Why did you want them to be able to get into the penthouse quickly if they heard anything? This is helpful. Tightening up his answers helps um, the jury get the main points here. Just based on my past experiences with Miss Erd, when, if he when didn't you say feel something safe, that, that she... Uh, I wish he would say that he didn't feel safe. Either didn't agree with or swore up and down that it was complete falsity and... There was something wrong with me. I'm crazy. And, you, you know, the escalation. If, if, if anything was going to start to escalate, I did not want to be there. So I had them waiting by the door. Uh, Chad, I warned you all to about get in there the poo. in case anything went down. You all are doing it to yourself. So when you walked into the penthouse, what did you see? When I first walked into the penthouses, you, you, you walk in and then make a left. Uh, and then you're in the kitchen area. And then beyond that was the living room. Anyone who's gone through a contentious um, divorce understands why he wanted someone uh, else with him when he went to pick up his uh, stuff. Sitting there. 
on the couch. Um, and I went over to talk. I went and sat down on the couch. She was sitting on the couch was kind of a, you know, a square. Chat, or don't a forget to like square, and subscribe. You know? Thank you. She was sitting on one side of the couch. I was sitting on the other. She, that's when she was trying to explain a few things about Coachella and then the fe fecal uh, and the poop on the delivery. <laughs> um, and say, saying her attorneys dog, brought up the poop in opening statement. And I, I could, I'm sorry, I could not agree with her. I lived with those dogs and I said, picked up their fun. <laughs> it was not the dogs. And so what happened was her attorney said she has fecal phobia and it I couldn't called, have been her. I said, let's call Kevin she picked up their fun. Murphy. Who's who Kevin had, Murphy? Kevin Murphy had been the attorney's was, doing a better job tightening this Los up Angeles. this afternoon. Was, and it's he helpful. Was, uh, the, um, the house manager uh, over um, the places in West Hollywood, and he was also um, taking care of the, the penthouses downtown with, if any work needed to be done or this or that. And he, he would schedule the, the girls who would come in, the, the ladies like Hilda, to do their work. <clears throat> and uh, he'd had a conversation with Ms. Hurd. He's waiting for an objection. They just bumped the mic. Keep going. Let's move beyond the All conversation right, that going. Kevin Soon. Murphy had with Ms. Hurd. Oh, Cross-examination is um, going to be interesting. So after you called Kevin Murphy, what happened? I asked Kevin if Amber and he had spoken about the incident. He said, yes, they had. He's waiting for the hearsay okay. objection. And um, <laughs> did you see the look on his face? He's waiting for the hearsay objection. Hearsay, yep, there we go. Amber. Uh, this is a, apparently a statement by Miss Heard. This is a statement by Miss Heard. Kevin Murphy. That's, that's what the testimony is. All right, if you want to. Reframe that. That's fine. Okay. The judge didn't rule on it. She said, just try to ask a better After question. Hung, when did you hang up the phone with Kevin Murphy? Um, right about the time that Ms. Hurd was screaming obscenities at him and calling him a liar and that he was a scumbag. And I, I told her, I said, listen, don't. That Don't tracks speak to this man that way. Do with not the testimony from Keenan Wyatt that way, and then Kevin Murphy just hung up. This tracks so with the Keenan Wyatt testimony. She was riled, of course, yesterday morning. And I went upstairs to gather belongings. When I came back downstairs, oh, I'm she very was serious. On the phone with I died during opening I statement. To I'm going to make it a clip. Right, and they were making a. A wonderful point of just how funny it was that um, I thought that some human being had actually dropped a uh, <clears throat> shit on my bed. Grumpy, <laughs> pardon the term, onto the bed. <laughs> Can we stick and with they one were term? Yakking, they were yucking it up. They were laughing about the whole thing, and ah. Uh, It, 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 it was, it was, you know, it was, a, it was, it, it was a tough couple of days and I really didn't feel like I deserved that kind of treatment. And, uh, I went over and I said, let me talk to her. I grabbed the phone. And I said to Io, you can have her now. She's yours. She's all yours. Right? And then I took the phone and I just bang like that onto the, I mean, that side of the couch was eight feet long. The other side of the couch was about six feet long. 
I flopped it onto the couch, and I was walking towards the uh, he called it a grumpy you guys. kitchen to uh, exit, and then the dog should see suddenly Rocky Pennington um, ran in uh, to the penthouse and started, you know, leave her alone, Johnny, leave her alone. And I was I was by the refrigerator at this point i was 20 feet away where is where his security at that time she was still sitting on the couch um and that's when the screaming you know the um the screaming started with like again a lot of descriptors for poo She's still got Io on the phone. She's got Rocky there. Stop hitting me, Johnny. She's screaming in in her best um, freaked out, upset voice, high pitched. Stop hitting me. Stop hitting me. Jerry Judge and Sean entered the room. And as they entered the room, and she was quite surprised to see them, she said, that's the last time you'll ever hit me. That's the last time you'll ever do that to me. And again, I'm I'm a good 20 feet away by the fridge. Um, and then Jerry said, boss, I think we should just leave. And then we left. That was the last time I saw Miss Heard until, um, until she asked me to break the restraining order. Uh, or not break the restraining order. In, like, yeah, break the restraining order, and talk to her in July. Later, Mr. Depp, where did you go after you left the penthouses on May twenty first? This timing oh, all no. matters. The court's probably going to take a break soon, to, but to this timing home. matters. Oh, sweet sir, because this leads up and to her calling the police. Did, where did you go after you and, went home to sweet sir? Um, I was due to her getting the domestic to, violence uh, restraining order that kind of perpetrated all of this. I I I, I had to go. That was in the morning. To, uh, I had to catch a flight to New York, um, where we were doing. Uh, the, I was this group, the Hollywood Vampires. There will be lots of poop memes, but him traveling we were, matters. We were about to set out on a two or three month tour of Europe, and yeah, we his traveling we matters. were rehearsing in New York. And then we played one show in New York as a, yes, as a warm up we, gig. We knew this and would be a shit we show. We were on the plane. But I appreciate we the puns, Steve. Uh, we started the, the shows in, in, um, in Europe. And, and I was on the road from then, which was May, on, uh, through July, uh, August, or something. Ms. Myers, is this a good time to take I our was, afternoon break? I was just going to okay. suggest that. Thank good. you, Your Honor. All right, thank you. Let's go ahead and take our afternoon break, ladies and gentlemen. Please do not do any outside research and do I not just discuss said the case. Thank you. Mike, you get, you get a feel for these things. It's time. It's the right time to take a break. We're kind of switching between topics, which is a good time to take a break when um, switching between topics in court. They are switching from her being at Coachella, the poop being left on the bed, his mother passing away, him deciding he needs to end the marriage. As he said, with his mom passing away, he had this life's too short, essentially life's a bird song, um, and decided that he needed to get divorced. Take a recess, Mr. Depp. You know what I'm going to say, right? You're learning, right? Okay. He knows uh, all about hearsay. This is the attorney that's doing the objections oh, wow. that Depp keeps looking at. And then this is Depp's legal team. So I'm going to turn the audio off so we don't get that horrible buzz. Look, I'm learning too. I actually know what hearsay is, but I'm <laughs> we're professionals here. So we're leading up in time to when Heard shows up at the courthouse with a bruise on her face, uh, is photographed by the paparazzi, files for domestic violence restraining order, receives a domestic violence restraining order, all while he is in Europe. It's five or six days after this last time that they saw him. So the that's what matters here. And that's why we have his security guards talking about this incident and hearing and seeing Amber at that time and seeing that 
Amber had no marks on her because then she shows up with a bruise later. And they're saying that that bruise um, was not due to Johnny Depp hitting her or striking her, that that bruise with the answer was either self-inflicted or that bruise was makeup. And then she went to court and got a DV restraining order without him being able to respond because he was out of the country. Her side um, responded to some of that. But again, we're hearing Depp's side of all of this. We will hear her side and we will hear her friend's side of all of this. So we're going to see the police officers that responded testify. We're going to see the uh, body cam footage of it. We're going to see the bruise uh, photos when we get into her case in chief. So there is a long way for this trial to go. The jaded, yes, I plan on covering Amber Heard's testimony the way I'm covering this testimony. I am going to cover their testimony like this. I am not going to stream every single day because A, um, other trials to cover B podcast to prep C. I have some travel coming up that will preclude me from streaming um, gavel to gavel every single day, but there are other channels streaming and I will, when I pop into those, I will tell the text crew. So if you're in North America, text Emily.com will get you to the text crew and I will give you updates there. Also in the Law Nerds community at Law Nerds Unite, we have our members only live stream tomorrow night where I'm sure we will be talking about this among other things. And then um, I will also put that out on Twitter at, you know, I'm at the Emily D. Baker all over social media. So I'll be putting those up there when I'm doing things like that, because I will pop into other streams and say hello. Um, I generally have a lot of thoughts. I hate talking over people. It's hard enough talking over trial commentary. So for testimony like this that I really want to watch, I will um, be streaming on my own and then be popping back and forth to other people's streams. So that's kind of the plan for that and and why I'm doing it that way. So they're on about a 15 minute break right now and we will um we will keep covering it. I'm going to go through some of the super chats and questions oh, because it's been a lot. It's been a lot of a trial day. Do we need lip gloss? Yes. Do I feel pale? Yes. We've got do we have lightsaber lip gloss? Yes. Is that what it's called? No, because intellectual property and trademarks. Um, but we need to stay hydrated. I have three things of water and some more crackers. I'm almost done with lunch, though. A little bit got stuck in my teeth. It drove me crazy. So is he looking or seeming believable? I think that's a question for the chat. How are you taking his testimony? I think it's hard to get a full picture of his testimony until we see his cross-examination. If there is a huge switch in how he responds to the lawyers on cross-examination, it is going to be hard for the jury to reconcile the two. If he stays pretty similar, maybe a little snarkier or cheekier where appropriate, if appropriate, um, then it makes it seem more believable. So it really comes down to the jury. I think a lot of what he is saying seems genuine. I think it's important that when he doesn't remember, he says, I don't remember that exact date. There are other witnesses that will bolster those dates. It doesn't all rest on him. Trials are like a roadmap or a staircase. You build them one piece at a time or a dry stack Tennessee fence. You just, you build it one stone at a time until you get the full thing. And he doesn't have to, he bears a lot of the weight of that because we get what he thought, what he felt, how this impacted him. But the other witnesses kind of buttress that as well. Um, Aurelia, real question, physical fighting and emotional distress on both sides doesn't automatically eliminate the case for DV towards one party, legally speaking. Correct. The jury can say, look, she was also an abuser, but she was also a victim. So her statements aren't defamatory. Yes. And they could say, you know, she was also a victim, so her statements weren't defamatory, but some of her statements were embellished or were untrue, and therefore his statements also weren't defamatory because some of her statements were a hoax, which is what his attorney said. The jury could find neither of them liable in this, and I don't think it's an unlikely outcome that the jury goes, no, she, her statements against him weren't defamatory. His statements against her weren't defamatory. There's levels of truth to all of this. The jury's going to have to parse out the gray zones here. Um, Helene said, if he would feel like crying or showing strong emotions while listening, watching, talking about this, could he, or is that a no, no? He should, he should do what he's going to do. So if he has strong emotions, yes, 
but he is an actor. And so he has to be mindful that he doesn't want to come across as manipulative to the jury. I think it's been appropriate that he looks at the jury and acknowledges them, but he's not, he's not dead on the jury, the entire testimony. And then she did this. And then she did that. It's, it feels natural. The way he's he's looking at the jury and then looking back to his lawyer feels natural. It doesn't feel forced. And you don't want the jury to feel manipulated. And that's really the key. So he needs to lean into how he's feeling in the moment without it seeming forced or created. Um, I want my way. That's very telling. It The testimony today has been very telling. The testimony from the morning that was telling was how angry she was about not being in his will. That will go in my daily roundup at the end of the day. Um, Alicia, will Amber's prior abuse be made public to the jury since Amber testifies last? Well, Well, we don't know when she'll testify. It's a worry that the jury could forget Johnny's statements. I don't know if anyone's going to forget how he testified. And that's part of what closing arguments are for. The audio that came in, the Attorneys can play that audio in closing arguments to remind the jury. They can show the photos. All of those demonstratives can come in in closing arguments. Closing arguments in this case will be very meaningful, and I will try to stream those as well. Very impactful and probably very long. But we're going to need those touchbacks because this does come earlier in the case. But also the benefit of it coming earlier in the case is it characterizes everything you hear next. She has to go on the defensive because we've heard his side of the story. And it's like, oh, that's when he said you did this. Oh, that's when he said you did this. His side of the story is out there first. Will her prior um, DV arrest come in? I think it'll probably be used for impeachment when she testifies. We will have to see. It can come in. Um, We'll just have to see if it does and how. Question, what is the standard of evidence here beyond a reasonable doubt balance of probability? UK terms, not cho- sure how it works in the States. It is more than a balance of probability, but it is less than beyond a reasonable doubt. I would have to look up exactly because it's been a long day. My brain has blanked on the exact language that Virginia uses, um, but it is not beyond a reasonable doubt. That's the criminal standard. So it's more like a, a more in the reasonable probability, but I would need to look at their exact language. And I'll do that as we come back from break and let you know. So I'm going to leave this one so I can touch back on it next break. Um, Because again, my brain has stopped. Whimsical said, I think it's very telling that he referred to her as misheard in general and Amber when discussing the abuse. It's like he cannot distance himself. I wonder if the jury will pick up on that or if the later experts will talk about that. Um, let's get her to big again. She deserves it. Oh, thank you. Love the coverage in the community. Tip for the pawn nerds. Um, like, comment, subscribe. We did Bing today. You are welcome to subscribe uh, and join the chat. The Lawner community is great. We have a very considered and considerate chat, and it's something I love about being in this co- community. I actually really enjoy live streaming because as I'm listening, I can interact with your questions um, versus when I am just breaking down cases. So it's actually really nice to be able to interact with you guys in that way. I love it. Listening to it all said, anyone know if his family's in the courtroom? If any of his family members are yet to testify, they could not be in the courtroom. I don't know if he has asked them to be there to support him. He has a large legal team or if it would be more embarrassing to have your family in the courtroom as you're talking about this and harder. You heard him say he didn't want Amber to be there while he was detoxing. He didn't want, he needed space to go through that. It might be the same here. If his sister is subject to recall, meaning she could come back as a witness, then she cannot be in the courtroom till it's over. So they might have them not in the courtroom and not watching the trial just um, in case they need to testify. Z Wood said, after hearing the recordings, I totally believe him. It'll be interesting to hear how Amber explains it. It will be. And again, the recordings you heard, there are lots of channels that have broken down the entirety of those audio recordings. They are more of the same. Um, from we heard kind of the the key moments that the lawyers thought were the key moments, but there aren't really any bad moments in there for Johnny um, in that particular grouping of audio to the best of my memory. Those are a lot of um, her saying, you weren't punched, you're a baby, come on now. Um, Johnny was diagnosed with ADHD, and I think it explains his testimony that they should explain this. Uh, Susan... They talked a little bit about it with his nurse because he was on ADHD medication, but it, as someone with ADHD, it's very funny when the audio distracted him, he was like, what? And I'm like, oh my God, I'm so audio distractible. It's interesting. Question, are any of his ex-partners testifying? I don't know if we will see that. I don't know who's been deposed 
um, off the top of my brain. I don't know if we'll see any of his ex-partners testify. And the feed I was using just did this. So give me, I'm going to, as I'm talking, um, make sure that we have another feed because they should be back in just a moment. This feed has been so good to us today, but it looks like it's not being good to me now. Uh, let's see. The trial should resume in about five minutes. I just want to make sure I have a backup feed when it does resume. So I meant to pull that up later. So if her nose were broken, she would have gone to the ER and have it reset repaired. That would have caused, um, that would have caused clear bruising around the eyes, et cetera. Art and soul. She complained of a busted lip and a broken nose. The doctor that was their private doctor testified that she did not seek treatment with him for that. And it is very surprising to me that you didn't see her as someone who is an actress seek immediate treatment for a broken nose to have it reset. So it didn't set funny. And if she did have a busted lip to not seek plastic surgery intervention to make sure that it healed clearly lips can heal, um, with thicker scars. They can, they, if they are not done well, says the wife of a dentist, but if they are not um, and someone who played water polo, but if they are not stitched up properly, they can heal very funny because they move so much. So I also, did I, have we talked about my EMT experience? We'll, we'll get there a different day, but to, for her not to seek medical treatment from her concierge, always on call doctor and her concierge nurse is very strange to me. It's something I hope that the defense explains because her living is made essentially on her face. So it's, you are absolutely going to, if, if that happened, take care of that immediately, like immediately it, because you have to deal with it. But she was on the James Corden show very shortly after, um, and she said it was covered up with makeup. Swelling's hard to cover up with makeup. Talk to me about the, the under eye bags swelling and puffiness is hard to cover up harder to cover up than just um discoloration that can be color corrected and stuff but also people saw her um in a tropical location where she was doing a photo shoot and stuff like that and didn't notice anything so there are no medical records about the broken nose and we're not going to see any of that come in which is going to juxtapose to depp having a lot of medical uh records with regard to his finger so Question, can the lawyers look back at the stream of him testifying before they cross-examine him? Uh, they have that ability, which is rare, and they probably won't cross-examine him tomorrow. So yes, he, her her attorneys can re-watch his testimony to prepare. They're also taking their contemporaneous notes in court of what they think are high points or what they think they need to touch on. So they're doing that in court as well. They have a very large legal team. So they have people getting those kind of present sense impressions of what they're going to testify about. And we will just see. Okay, we have one more uh, feed that we can use just in case. I'm going to see if I can find one more in just a minute. Um. Yes, I think speculating about the state of his testimony is unfair to him. I think that this is the way that Johnny Depp talks, and we are seeing him how he is. Will he get to testify against again after Amber? Maybe. I mean, he might be able to when he might be able to. I don't know if he will need to, but we will see. So we will see. He will probably be subject to recall. We'll know if they dismiss him. They will either dismiss him subject to recall or not. And so we will know that then. Can the jury ask for clarification on something? It's It depends on the court, but generally not. It's not a grand jury. Generally, the jury has to wait to the end and then ask questions of the court. A friend of mine has a jury deliberating, and she actually called me this morning. I don't know if her jury came back, but she has a jury deliberating. And they kept asking, like, is there this and is there that? And it's like, if these things existed you would have them. So generally the jury has to wait to the end and then they have to parse through what they've been given, which is why it's so critical for the lawyers to make sure they kind of dot the I's and cross the T's on the testimony. So the jury's not left with hanging questions. And again, the questions that we think are relevant might not be the questions that this jury finds to be relevant. Our relevance and curiosity um, might be different than what's really relevant to the jury at the end of the day in this. So we should be getting back 
into trial in just a moment. I'm keeping an eye on this other feed because the CBS feed still seems to be down. Question, does his humor like hearsay papers hurt this case? It, it, it all hinges on the jury's perception of him. So if it changes how the jury perceives him, possibly. If the jury thinks it's charming and they think it's kind of funny and they're also annoyed with the objections, maybe not. It really, some of it's very cheeky. I don't know if we'll see that toned down before cross-examination, but he does need to be respectful of the lawyers. And some people might think it comes off as cocky or arrogant. And some people might see it as he's learning and he's trying to diffuse an uncomfortable situation. How the jury takes it is what matters most. How do you guys take it when he's like, what are the hearsay papers? Is it inappropriate and snarky? Is it arrogant or is it funny? You guys let me know what you think in the chat because the only thing that really hurts his case is things that hurt his cred credibility. Allie said, I feel like I heard a lot of leading questions. There were. Does opposing counsel not object to those because it's uncontroversial? I think that they're not objecting because they also want Johnny Depp to narrow down his testimony and just looking at Johnny Depp and being like, and then what happened is never going to get us to the point. And some of these are foundational leading questions like on this date, what happened, even though it's leading you to the date, it doesn't, um, a true leading question suggests the answer. And that's not what we're seeing here. We're not seeing the answer be suggested by the question. If I could get a hard copy of those, they're not on the thumb drive for so, some reason. And in my binders, it that's says probably why they're not objecting. in native format. And I don't know what that means. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, Produce a native format means you got the and, photos. Yeah, Absolutely. Okay. All right, are we ready for the jury? But that's fair. Okay. Let me see if the other feed, I don't love the bumper on the bottom, NBC News, but I mean, if that's what we got to go. Oh, there. Hey, NBC, thank you. We'll stick with CBS it has not gotten their shit back together. So, oh, and now we're back. We're back to a new bumper. We can deal with the bumper if it doesn't get distracting. I really, I don't know this attorney's name. I thought it was Miss Vasquez that was doing the direct. It's not. Um, so there we go. So yes, there were some leading questions, but they're not a horribly leading. It's not like, so Mr. Depp, do you feel horribly abused? You know, stuff that stuff that implies the answer. Thank you for true teaching us. You're welcome. I'm trying to. Zoe said, I was torn when this case started, but now I believe Johnny Depp. I think um I, I think you mean think Amber was the abuser and used the domestic violence and Me Too movement for publicity. Maybe we haven't heard her side of it yet. So Johnny Depp comes across as very believable, right, thank you. but we All still right, haven't heard her side. Question, <clears throat> Danielle, thank, thank you. you. Um, Mr. Depp, I'd like to show you another he didn't audio pursue recording. It. That is Plaintiff's Exhibit 397. Okay, we're back into audio recordings. Uh, these are probably going to be triggering. Record, we intend to play the portion that is one hour, four seconds. What? One hour, two minutes, and 50 seconds. All right, so there's no objection to 397. All right, y'all, we got an hour of testimony. Okay, are you coming in? Unless they are playing it from that point forward. Unless they're playing it from that point forward. But if they're playing an hour of audio, I guess we'll know. We're in for it now. Audio is happening. I don't know if she said it's an audio that's an hour or if they're time stamping it. Those wishes don't go to you know what I mean? I wish you the best. Hey, why don't you fuck yourself? Go suck your own dick. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I'll write you a check for the extra sip I took. Is that okay? Stingy old fucking piece of shit. You're the one that brought it up. Mm -mm. Stingy old fucking piece of shit? That's mine. Didn't say that. Oh, you didn't? I said I didn't think you were looking for anymore. Rewind. <laughs> ah, my bad. Stop it. Sorry, that's me having tech issues. The audio mm -hmm. on this is low. I feel like it's going to be pretty good in front of you. Rocky and your pop and uh, your mom.
I hear whispering, but I can't really hear. I can't hear well. You, I, I've tried so fucking hard with you. I tried so hard. Hey, that's good. You gave me some shit about my kids, just like in London that you designed. Never again. Stay away. You don't exist. She does sound far away. You will not be getting my words. Mr. Depp, could you please describe to the jury what they just heard in that audio recording? Yes, the jury will get transcripts. I'm going to see I if don't, I can switch I don't feeds. Know when, I don't know when that, if there's a date on that. <clears throat> but um, yeah, CBS had the closed captioning and they were um, down. Clearly, there was uh, some. I will look for another feed, but CBS is down. Uh, and they animosity. Had the closed captioning. And uh, another clash. And um, Miss Heard, once again, um, felt it necessary to uh, bring my <clears throat> bring my kids my 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 son into the into that argument and say that she hopes that uh, my son's stepfather can teach him how to be a man since i couldn't I'm going to switch audio. Um, children into your arguments. Uh, too often. And at the end of your relationship, how was Miss Hurd's relationship with your children? Non-existent. They, my children, my kids are far. Chad, I appreciate um, you suggesting long crime. They have tried to strike my streams. And am. so I do not use them and as they, a resource they broke. because they improperly copyrighted my stream. They, they I took it down midstream. Wouldn't be around Ms. Heard any they refused to be around her <clears throat> anymore. They didn't like uh that does call for hearsay. Uh, treated me, which was written in a and they're letting it in. A, 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 a very elegant letter by my daughter, actually. To uh, <clears throat> to Miss Hurt. Yes. I don't know if that's in evidence, but yes, I remember the uh, court TV is pretty behind. My daughter sent a text to Miss Hurt. Objection, Your Honor. Just hearsay. It's one thing for the witness to tell his story; it's another thing for him to tell other people's mm -hmm. stories. That's true. We can, right, move we can move on. Okay. I'm sorry. I read the I read the email. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Next question. Somebody else still wrote it though. Um. When That's did fair. you learn that Miss Heard had filed for divorce? When and then how? Well, I hope was, is what's coming. When and then how? Let's see. Betty Sue was the twentieth. I think that he's talking about his, about his mom divorce, passing and his mom's first funeral. The, um, kicker. I believe it was on the 23rd and I had already left this is May town for New York to prepare for the tour of did Miss Heard know that you were out of town at that time May of 2016 I think I don't know <clears throat> yeah I think we're in May 2016 when did you learn that Miss Heard had made domestic abuse allegations against you Um, 
Yep, we're live. The 27th of May, which is, in fact, my daughter's birthday. Um, I saw that she had gone to a court, was, I don't know, some court and there were paparazzi everywhere and her and a um, <clears throat> brown mark on her face. Um, and it was also happened to be the day that Charlie and the, no, Alice in Wonderland 2, um, so the looking glass was opening. And that's the day that she chose to that's interesting uh, timing. Uh, get the, uh, go, go to the courthouse and get a tiaro. A temporary restraining order against me, but I was in Europe already at that point. Mr. Depp, I'd like to show you what's been marked as plaintiff's exhibit 487. I wonder what photo and this is. Just for the record, this is a very long document, um, and we will be showing pages 470, or excuse me, uh, 492 through. Yes, there are two Alice in Wonderland 494. films. 494. We learn a lot here, chat. We do, we do. The document 487. Sure. Thanks, Katya. Okay. We don't disparage people, just Law and Crime Network. <laughs> I assume, are you entering this in evidence now, or are you just showing it? They've, they've, we, I, can, I can give them an opportunity to go me. through it with Mr. Depp, if that's okay. What's telling is they um, took my stream down and then released their claim after Mr. the damage Depp, was done. Do you recognize any of these text messages that are on the screen in front of you? Oh, text messages. vague memory of, of these. And who are these communications between? Uh, it looks like myself in the, it's me um, in, the, in the green <clears throat> and Ms. Hurd's words in the blue. And do your communications reflect that Ms. Hurd understands that you're in New York? I'm, sc I'm sorry? What is the date of your text messages here on this page? She's trying um, to get to her knowing he's not in LA. That's the 23rd of May, 2016. And hers are the 24th of May, 2016. And based off of these communications, the timing matters because he had your recollection that Miss Heard knew that you were in New York on this date. He hadn't seen her since May, like twenty first. Um, so this timing matters for the temporary restraining in her text, order. You know, he when do you leave? Is not answering um, the question very directly. He could, but he's not. I don't think he understands what, what she's asking. That I was Leaving, um, he's ready to object. You see him, he's right like, I'm, away, ready. But, uh, I'm ready to object. I, I, I'm not sure that I wasn't already because I wasn't in New York City. We weren't playing New York City, I, we were we were playing, uh, we were rehearsing in a um, like a casino, a big casino, and that was where we did our first uh, you know, show. Um, to practice, you know, first show to practice for the the the, uh, the tour. The uh, spousal European privilege tour. has some exceptions, and here so the parties are opposite to each other. They're party opponents, so no, they can't block the other. Leaving party for New opponents. York, but I don't. I think so I was she already can't say their privilege, and he can't say their privilege. They're opposite each New other. New York City. Uh, Why is he not answering? I think he lost the question in here somewhere. We weren't. Uh, I don't recall. So, we were. I think the playing question New got York lost. City. So maybe I was su suggesting going going there. 
Could we please go turn to the page uh, 940? And when excuse me, the chat's talking about Erlen lenses, those are the lenses I wear that are and tinted. Mr. Depp, do you see the I wear them for message, ADHD um, and dyslexia. I misheard and on his May lenses are also tinted. I don't know if they're Erlen, but it might be the same the same thought yes, that do. they help him yes, read do. or help okay. reduce migraines from overhead lights. It and just depends. He keeps putting them on for reading. Do you understand what Miss Hurd is referring Bono to? Bono also text wears message? tinted lenses. Uh, um, they also help me with headaches. If I just take a quick glance, you can please read. Do. Thank you. Yeah, please read. Refresh your recollection. Me answering as if I'm in court. I'm not. We're here. I forgot my supplements this morning. Thank you. That's better. So he needed to read his texts, which is fair. Also, I will say I'm also ADHD. I do repeat myself quite a lot. Um, and so it doesn't surprise me the way he repeats himself. It's something I don't love that I do. And it's a habit I try to break. But I repeat myself to make sure that I'm heard and understood. Um, and I try to not to. <laughs> so I am not surprised to see that characteristic in him as well, especially if he... I remember, yes. Especially because his therapist testified he had a hard and time expressing himself. What do you recall about this? Previously. That it made no sense to me. What made no sense? It, 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 what made no it sense? It didn't make any sense to me. Especially about, well, as long as you don't file, nobody will know. Yeah, it just didn't, I... Again, I'm not all that familiar with these types of things, but if, uh, I mean, if it's two people in a relationship and the relationship is ending. No, Betty Sue's his mom's um, name. In any case, the outcome is divorce. So I, I, I didn't understand these explanations of this can happen or it cannot happen or and i only did this because my lawyers said to and um it, it just didn't make any sense to me and and uh it looked like uh <clears throat> she Roxanne, was kind of grabbing at straws trying break. to figure out what in fact to do mr depp i'd like to just ask you about a couple statements miss heard makes in this text message she first says, just to confirm that the cover letter is completely private and has nothing to do with any public record. Do you see that? The first sentence in the text message? Yes, They're do. getting do you into know what the cover area Miss Heard is referring to? No, where I don't. they allege that Heard tried to kind of extort and him. Then she says, and say, I won't and make this only public included if you do the this. domestic violence slash restraining yep. order stuff so. because I called the lawyer when the cops were here and I didn't know what to do or why that happened and was scared. Do you see that? So we're going to get into some yes. of that now. Do you know what Ms. Hurd is referring to when she said that? No. And then dropping down to the bottom, it says two lines up, I thought you filed. Do you see that? To be fair, always yes. blame the lawyers. And do you have That's any you understanding as to why Ms. Hurd thought you had already filed? No. I had, I had on the... Wait till the, the next night question. Of the we already answered. Uh, her attorney's going to object. Was, was when I told her on the phone that I was going to file. Um, for divorce, and in the way that I had explained it, to keep everything nice and calm, and even. Um, but on the twenty third. She filed, and um, is that the so right I, date? I, I, I wonder because the way the I, attorney looked, I don't know if that's the I right hadn't date. Had a chance to file. Um, Your Honor, I would move um, plaintiff's exhibit four eighty seven specifically the portions from on the bottom of her list two to four ninety like, four into evidence. What is what is that? So you just want page four ninety two to is her Apple Watch on the. What? Yes, what is Your Honor, it's a it's a seven hundred. What is page happening? Document, so I, just page four. Well, is that what we're seeing? I have questions. Four eighty seven in. I guess is the question. I believe so, Your Honor. So this is four eighty seven a. Certainly, that would make sense. Okay, so four eighty seven a. 
page 492 to 494. And this 494. is just, Any again, to those two pages. No, you're not. They are right. moving those parts of the exhibit in. in. Just for clarity, that three, two, two pages are three pages. So 492, 492, that would be three pages. If that's no, correct. That's correct. Okay. When you guys want to know why trials take long, all of this stuff has to happen. This is so foundational stuff. Be published to the jury. Oh. To ex oh, good. We get to see them. I'm so nosy. I like to see the. I like to see the the receipts, if you will, the receipts. Oh shit! But we can't read those receipts. What the heck? <laughs> There's no way. What? This data dump is not helpful for me. I'm going to try to make it big, but I can't read that at all. Just confirm that the cover letter is completely private and has nothing to do with any public record. A temporary restraining order. Could you just remind the jury what date? Tried was calling that? you, hoping you're feeling all right. X J D. Call you back. Seventh of May. May twenty fourth, twenty sixteen. Where were you when you learned that Miss Heard had um, actually filed a temporary restraining yes, order? Yes, he's green. You? She's blue. I don't. I don't recall if we had left for Europe as yet. Yes, um, Tiffany. That is the, the audacity of these receipts. The tour. So I was either um, in New York State rehearsing and uh, preparing to go to Europe or I was already in Europe. I'd have to check the, <clears throat> the, the tour dates. Did you find out on the 27th later. or a time, uh, shortly thereafter? That makes sense. No, I found out on the 27th. It was everywhere. And what do you mean when you say it was everywhere? I want to know how he found out. It was... Um, the jury will have printouts. That's not the tech. That's the data dump. Multiplying. This is actually real good tech. And better than LA County multiplying Courts. Multiplying throughout media, throughout. He's not answering it directly. Um, How did you know? It was on people. Social media throughout. Um, it was on TMZ. So-called sort of straight media or whatever. What's um, straight media? And uh, Mainstream media? I what, was what taken aback a bit. Um, if we could take this down and please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 411. So he found out through the media it was everywhere. He didn't explain it well, though. And they're looking at their screen with the exhibit. Mr. Depp, is this some of the media coverage that you were referring to? This is much more helpful. M many things of this uh, of this nature, yes. Many. And do you recall actually seeing this specific ah, article? Street media as opposed to I don't remember seeing this tabloid specific media article. Yeah. Um, so traditional media but there were versus tabloid media. Already plenty. Um, uh, and certainly more than I was happy to go through. I, I think w w once you read one or two of them, um, the general idea is, is uh, I mean, the, the point had been made. Only if they publish them. Um, clearly. Your Honor, I'd move um, Plaintiff's Exhibit 411 into evidence. Any objection? Yep. Then they can publish them. You can't publish it to the jury until it's moved into evidence. So they might publish it to the media. to the Sorry, to the jury. There we go. And these are the photos they're talking about. And this is from The Hollywood Reporter. Headline, Amber Heard granted um, restraining order against Johnny Depp after domestic up, violence accusations. Uh, exhibit 414. That was Exhibit 411. Very quickly. I'm not keeping an exhibit list. And this is, again, like six days after yes, they had last seen each other. Yes. Do you recognize this article at all? Um, I, I, I remember yeah, I don't know if it was this one in particular, but I do remember seeing all the various, uh, reasons behind the, uh, or re her reasons behind, um, her uh, needing to to get a temporary restraining order, uh, 
a TRO against me, um, which they just started to... Uh, Sapphire, I agree with you. They both look um, fatigued. This is not easy metastasized for anyone. Into, these court days feel very uh, long sitting in those courtrooms, uh, they were, having uh, everything dragged out. It's not easy on any of them. And there was al alcohol, and there was drugs, and violence, and it just uh, it was uh, already <clears throat> right then and there before my eyes spinning out of control. Uh, and there was not a word that I could uh, say. Your Honor, I would move plaintiff's exhibit 414 into evidence. Any objection? No, Your Honor. Once it's moved, it can be published. <sighs> and if we could take this down now, oh. please, and okay. put up plaintiff's exhibit 409. They put the exhibits up so fast, we don't even get to read them. The jury all gets them at the end of the day. But those of us commenting along at home would like to read the headlines from TMZ. And, Your Honor, um, if I could move plaintiff's exhibit 409 into evidence. Celine, well. this, this is going to be a big part of this. All right, 409. Is that the length of time since they last saw each other? And is that consistent with bruising? They will Mr. need Depp, do you recall medical testimony. People magazine he talked about article. these people and they talked about it in their opening. Yes, they do. And when did you see it? Right when it was released, right when it came out. If this all turns out that the jury believes him, does people issue an apology? About this article? I've got questions. Yes, I did. Who did you speak to? Mostly friends and my Hopefully your therapist, sister Christy. Mostly friends, um, and certainly the the, the band. Um, Uh, and my and my kids, I had to uh, alert them that you're going to see this shit everywhere. There might be some ugly, ugly, ugly things coming out um, <clears throat> that that were most assuredly going to put me in the position of a. Um, uh, some violent, drug-addled, alcoholic, uh, uh, you know, um, just reprobate. And I wanted the closed captioning got that right. Before, uh, they can't say Amber Heard. They were approached. Miss Heard the becomes Missouri, but reprobate they got cover in school. This is hard with the kids. Kids, you know. That his kids were confronted I, I, with it. I wanted to be able to tell, explain to them that this was going to be visible uh, and it's going to be everywhere. And uh, I apologize to them. He talked about this at the beginning of his testimony. <clears throat> Had you yesterday. ever been accused of physically abusing a woman before this point? No. No. Ask the next How would question. you describe the impact of these allegations at the time they were made? And this goes Arnold, to damages. Please take this down. Yeah, take it down so it's not in his face. This goes to damages. She's going to have I've, to keep I've, him on track here. I felt ill. I felt sick. I mean, I sick in a sense that that I. There was no tr truth in it. There was no truth in it whatsoever. And the fact that it was coming down on me so hard um, and so quickly. In his testimony, he said and how he it, went from being Cinderella to Quasimodo was how he characterized it. it. it 
gained momentum around the world. And how big it got. Um, and then you notice people looking at you differently. And then you notice calls start coming from not calls, agents, calls, producers. And then his career was gone. That sort of thing. This was, this was a, this was a, bef this was before. In fact, the Me Too movement had uh, had uh, mm. come around. This was a while before that, so I, I couldn't have expected the Me Too movement to happen. But um, once that the People happened, article was, then it the it Washington just Post went article wasn't into skyrocket mode. So you're you're showered with uh, uh, with you know you're, you're running between drops of lava you're trying to run between raindrops that are that 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 kill you um and destroy you so uh, i was very confused i was i was very hurt because um as I said before, when you when you're in a relationship and you you do give your your truth to to intimate truths to to that person that you're with. We're gonna go into direct exam tomorrow too. Then they start There's no way they're gonna finish this before. To court use ends all today. that information that like and and stretch it out into something that is completely shocking because it, as i said it, it it just didn't it just didn't happen and instead so of I describing felt what like happened it was societally incredibly she cruel needs to and narrow him back to what happened i felt it was treachery to him. It, was, it, it, it was uh his damages what he lost I don't know if she wanted me to and tighten back into the damages be erased or drop dead or 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 just uh, don't speculate about let what me she stick wants. around and talk about what happened allow to her to ruin my life for a while and um and 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 uh and uh go out of her way to shame me and um, hurt my kids and hurt people who I've known for many, many years. Um, no, it was... Uh, There's room here for his attorney I mean, to, to come say that in. It was unfair is, 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 is about the largest understatement that I... <clears throat> There's room for his attorney to... It's actually the smallest understatement. Narrow mm -hmm. him back down to it, it, the fallout. It... it, 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 it it controlled my. But this is every the emotional fallout. I waking suppose. second from the moment that I woke up until the moment that I dropped, even on the road playing shows, you'd go out and you'd play for an hour and a half or two hours, and you'd do your best to get through that. And I, I can remember getting off of the, uh, finishing the show getting on the bus with the other band members and just going to the back of the bus and uh that must have been wild just 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 you know you had to get it out so i just sat back and in the back of the bus and uh cried and hid it from people Mr. Depp, did you ever have that did you ever discuss Miss Hurd's domestic abuse allegations with any um, producers or directors in the in the movie industry? Um, only if they fell into the category of friends. For example, Tim 
uh, Tim Burton, who is uh, one of my dearest friends, and uh, we've known him since we made Edward Scissorhands together in 1990. We've been this serves <clears throat> a dual very, purpose, I think. Very, very close friends ever since then. The dual purpose being um, that she's going to say he tried to have her blackballed, and he's saying. I talked um, to my yeah, friends. I didn't go to all the directors friends, and know, uh, try to blackball uh, her. So that's that's uh, the dual purpose of why she's and, asking us. Of course, as we were on the road, uh, you know, the, the, the fellows in the band, you know, Alice, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Alice Cooper is the singer of the vampires, who's a dear friend and um, I don't think I knew that Joe Alice Perry was the lead singer. Joe Perry from Smith is in the band. I knew Joe Perry was a friend, and then the. I didn't um, think I realized Alice Cooper was the lead singer of the uh, the Hollywood couple vampires. Of the members are just, are just, yeah, very close friends, and uh, I was uh, bereft of any. Of course, he was. You just don't know what to say anymore. You just know what to. So I, I. I Tried not to talk about it very much at all, but <clears throat> just to friends. And again, Mr. Depp, dual purpose. When did you and Miss Heard divorce? When was the divorce final? Yes. The divorce was final. 2017 sometime. January 2017 on Friday the 13th. That's oddly specific. And and how, were, how were your divorce proceedings resolved ultimately? My Jack, team I of, appreciate uh, your discussion. Lawyers, which included, we are not here to diagnose people. Uh, two of my entertainment lawyers. We are not qualified. Uh, my divorce attorney. Um, and two, I and love two seeing more all your interactions with Alice on, Cooper. Uh, Blair way. Burke. And, I'm living uh, for that. Someone else. Uh, they, they, I wanted to, I wanted to, for lack of a better word, I wanted to fight it. I wanted to fight it because it was there, because there wasn't an ounce, not a grain, not a molecule of truth to it. So I wanted to fight it. They... Because he said they, he was speaking about what he wanted to do yep. in the context of the divorce. Yep. Yeah, I, I think the next one was going to be they said. I don't know. If it's in this one, so. You can't okay. speculate. It didn't it call for hearsay. Sure, certainly. Um, <sighs> did you pay Miss Hurd any money in connection with your divorce? Yes. And how much was that? Um. Her settlement, she wanted uh, seven million dollars. I believe that was the settlement, wasn't? Uh, uh, wasn't it? Look at him looking at the lawyers. That's what it was. It was seven million dollars, wasn't it? And was there a joint statement that you and Miss Heard released? That's a very consistent. Yes, moment. that's what I was getting. Um, Just answer. The advice that I was given was to not to fight. Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. He's allowed to talk about the legal advice section? he was given. Next question. Um, who wrote the joint statement? The way he no idea. wasn't sure it was seven Lawyers. million was Did very you interesting. The statement before in the way he feels about money. I'll put it this way: I, I wasn't given much of a choice. Could we please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit Four Hundred Eight? So we'll get more into the divorce settlement. I'm sure. But the way he was like looking at the looking at the lawyer going, it was seven million, wasn't it? Is so consistent with how he has testified about money. And it's so inconsistent with the opening statements that this is an obsessed ex-husband hellbent on revenge. Someone who's obsessed knows exactly how much you fucking paid your ex. And you don't even that, have to be see, um, obsessive to know that. Paragraph from A lot of people know exactly how much they page. paid. Is that the joint statement that you and Miss Heard released together? The joint statement matters quite a lot. That's the joint statement that was released. Yes. And could you please read that joint statement for the jury? Our relationship was intensely passionate and at times volatile. 
but always bound by love. Neither party has made false accusations for financial gain. There was never any intent of physical or emotional harm. Never any intent. Amber wishes the best for Johnny in the future. Amber will be donating financial proceeds from the divorce ding, 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 to a charity. Ding, ding. What happened more? after this joint statement was issued, Mr. Depp? She's going to need to be more specific than that. What happened after that? Um, I, 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 I suppose, suppose, you know, the next move was to start making um, payments to Miss Hurd. Um, they were scheduled payments. Um, and then at a certain point, um, Ms. Hurd had, uh, Ms. Hurd had made statements to the press saying that the 7 million was going to be, was the 7 million was the settlement and that it's 7 already million in the was statement going too. to be split up between two, sh two charities. One was the ACLU and the other was the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, which in, 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 in fact was a, a um, a breach of the agreement. Neither one of us were supposed to speak about details. Happens with some money. You're not supposed to talk of about that them. nature. So when they're Mr. confidential, other than the statement released, breached that agreement. That was when I asked Ed White, my business manager, to send the first payments directly to the charities in Ms. Hurd's name. Um, and after I did that, um, Ms. Ms. Hurd, uh, Interesting. <clears throat> Ms. Hurd was very, very angry that I had made those first payments. And she went into a kind of a tirade about how I should be charged double the seven. I should be charged 14 million so that, uh, because she thought that I was looking for a <clears throat> tax break. Mr. Oh. Depp, between the she time thought he wanted to pay the charities directly to get the tax brace for paying the, the charity directly. Out, he would have gotten a tax break. How many break. movies did you work That's on in true. that time period? If you can recall. I think he wanted to pay it directly because uh, he didn't want her to get it, but he would have gotten a tax break did with the that. Joint statement come out. Was it's it fair? Uh, I'm sorry. Could we scroll up, please? Look at the date. Does that refresh your recollection? She can't just tell him what to testify to. She yeah, she can refresh his recollection based on things that are admitted into evidence. So that's very interesting. Um that he brought it up. I'm I'll sure I'll draw the question for the moment. Yeah, he doesn't know. In the time leading from the divorce through the um we got about me, a half hour in left the time today. period between when your divorce was finalized and the release of the op-ed in December 2018. This is going to come up. Do you have an estimate as to how many television or movie projects you worked on? The charity's got little bits. I... What was showing on the monitor last I was that joint statement. I don't exactly. I don't exactly. Um, Did you work on any is the question, really? I believe there was another maybe a smaller tour with, with the vampires. Kelly, um, no, because he's not donating it to charity. Uh, Charitable it's, donations it's, are a tax I don't break. Remember, it's hard to remember. I've done too many movies. That's okay. Sorry. Uh, Your Honor, I apologize. Can we please move into evidence exhibit 408? All right, any objection to 408? And then they can publish it. That's a joint statement. We don't have any objection to the 
one statement that was read, but the rest okay. of the article contains hearsay statements. So we, right. redact we can redact that in, okay. and put so it in. So you only have redacted 408 with just the statement then? Is that what you're talking about? Just that second last Okay. Paragraph. All right. That statement will be in evidence once we get it redacted. Okay. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Which means it won't be published now. If we could please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1. My, my earpieces and my glasses are fighting. I'm interested to see what they're Mr. pulling Depp, up. Do you recognize this document? Excuse me. Yes, I do. And what is it? Yes, what is it? We're very um, curious. This is Ms. Hurd's uh, op-ed for the Washington Post that I believe came out in... Uh... Libby, I'm not sure. It doesn't seem like it's December a full statement. It seems like the statement's contained within 18. an article that they're putting in and that there's statements within the article that I, I say. That's yes, I what I heard from the court. Remember this. But I think and that have you his attorneys were asking yes, I am. if he and didn't have projects during this time. I think that contents. was the point. But they can get back around to it. He's going to be on the stand tomorrow still, I'm sure. Fred says... Well, it was a hell of a star, I'd say, in terms of the... Um, the title, if you could, if you could, can, can we scroll down a, a little bit, uh, just for a sec? Um, because, because I'd like to make a, a I'd like to make a point. A point. What point would you like Going, to make? Reading it and reading the words that, uh, she had uh, written um, about what was obviously um, this is a good point. Obviously, referring to our relationship because it was obviously he referring to said me two there's years been ago. too many movies, and he has to you prove know, there's uh, damage it, from this. It, it all matched up, and so it was clearly about me. Um, and then I read the rest of the article where she talks about, if you could go down, uh, scroll down just a little bit. <laughs> After the imagine a powerful man is a ship. Thing. Um, oh, maybe that's why she used so many obscure metaphors in this fucking article. I understand she, she so much more after listening to in, all his in, obscure in, metaphors. In this section of the piece, she talks about it makes much more sense the now. The plight of, of, of women, uh, not just in Hollywood, but in, in, in general in the world. And there were... Uh, there were many things that I did not disagree with in terms of this, this, this part of the article. Um, I, I, I understand... Um, yeah, I agree passion. that the ship goes to both pirates to and the metaphors. Right, the wrongs um, that have that have been done for countless years against any any being who's suffered uh, uh, at the hands of domestic violence, be it um, women, men. Children. I'm surprised the defense um, haven't objected. That's that's something, of course. Because he's just making a statement against violence. Coming from my back. I know he's the victim of violence. That I I I I am very very against any bullying of any human being, any forced violence. Any it's got moments. Is somebody coming by the house? Any, Fred? He's got moments. Fred's having a moment in my window. Any, any, any injustice committed against any human being. Um, so th all this part of the article was. So he agrees with the part of it that's not about him. Uh, strangely, I, mean, I it, it was. It, I understood it very well, and I, um, I, I can applaud some of this i can i can absolutely say that i believe 
that it was it was very well um, done with regard to violence against women or violence against anyone. Um, it, it, it just it just seemed kind of the a strange other side. Uh, like a uh, you know, I imagine like it a seems two-headed strange. coin. When she'd been violent towards him, Mr. Depp, um, did you experience any consequences after there the release go. of the op-ed? Narrow it down back to damages. Absolutely. And what yes. were those? Oh. I will. I like that she's following up and kind of tightening this up it was, here. Uh, it's needed. I don't he, think it took he Disney has to very prove long, maybe a couple of days that he to, was damaged. Uh, announced that uh, that uh, that I had been uh, um, removed from the Pirates of the Caribbean um, films franchise. Um which I learned about reading in a, in reading one of these type of well, some magazine, the article, huh. where Sean Bailey was quoted. They didn't call him. Which was very odd to me, as I have had many creative conversations with the Disney people. Um, even to the point of where they were asking me to come uh, back and write pirates. Yeah. Sorry. What Disney executives told him. It was his understanding. It goes to why he was surprised they didn't call. Wanna, they want him to move so, on. Uh, oh, I see. But, uh, so don't I can help read John. it out of someone's article, but not from the man's mouth. Is that what happens? Next question. Uh, Mr. Deb, what do you what to what it makes sense that he thought it was odd he was pirates six uh, at this point? Yes. Yeah. Um, I believe it's in dangle mode. What's that mean? What's Mr. that Depp, mean? Have you ever physically assaulted Miss Heard? Never. Have you ever sexually assaulted Miss Heard? Never. Certainly not. What have you lost as a result of Ms. Heard making these allegations against you? She refocused him. Not existential. Nothing less than everything. Nothing less than everything. Because when the allegations were made, when the allegations were that's what he's going to say. Rapidly cir circling the globe, um, telling people that I was uh, a, a drunken, cocaine fueled menace um, who beat women suddenly in my 50s. Um, it's over. You, you know, you're, you're done. So um, what did it do to me? What effect did it have on me? He also needs to give specifics. I'll put it to you this way. No matter the outcome of this trial, the second the allegations were made against me, the accusations, the second that more and more of these things, as I said, metastasized and turned into fodder for the media. Um, once that happens, uh, or once that happened, I lost then. I'm happy to watch with y'all too. That is to say, I lost because th 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 that is not a thing 
that anyone is going to just. This goes to the reputational damage, though. Put on your back for a short period of time. It's never going to go away. I will away. live with that. The stain. For the rest of my life. Yeah, the taint of it never goes because away. Because of the allegations and because it was such a high profile case. So I lost then, no matter the outcome of this trial. I'll carry that for the rest of my days. That's the reputational and, uh, damage. It never had to be that way. It never had to happen. And let's talk about specifics too. Quite understand why it did in the way that it did. What roles did you lose? Did you lose any movie opportunities other I than have pirates? No questions, Your Honor. Holy shit, they're done with direct. I think it's. Are they going to end for the day? Tomorrow morning, is that good? They're going to end for the day before cross. Yeah, start now. Start now. Why don't we go ahead and start a little bit today, just because time is not on our side. Time is not on our side. Thank you. Y'all, we're getting into cross. Bring it in. It's going to wake up the jury, and we're going to get right into cross-examination. Oh, my. Let us get ready. I'm going to go share on the on the Instagrams that we're getting into cross. You guys buckle up for the leading questions. I hope he comes in with honey and not a full head of steam. Good afternoon, we'll Mr. See. Depp. Good afternoon, Mr. Roddenborn. I'm 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 happy that in the last I love that he addressed bit, him by got name. The reason why we're here, and I'd like to start with that. Um, if you could please pull up plaintiff's exhibit two. Michelle. <clears throat> Next page. And Your Honor, I believe this is either in evidence or has been stipulated uh, as part of the opening. I assume no objection to two. No objection, Your Honor. Okay. Sir. Permission to publish? Yes, sir. What are we looking at? This will also go much more quickly because they're gonna ask those leading questions that we're so used to. This article, this is this the opinion piece in the middle of the page there, Mr. Depp. This is the This is print the opinion version. piece that Amber Heard wrote in the Washington Post that was published on December 18th, 2018, correct? Uh, it Seems to be. Let's say December 19th on it. You, <laughs> At the top of the page, doesn't that say December 19th, 2018? I mean, that's fair. Go ahead and blow I believe that, out, that the Michelle. 2018 was the online. Is it not? Okay, so December 18th, December 19th, <laughs> this piece in the middle of the page is the opinion piece. Mr. That's Gordon, kind of a power right? play. That's very interesting. It's like, um, sir, I think you're wrong. Very interesting. It, very interesting. Could you make it a little bigger? Um, Just a little bit. My eyes sure. are getting smaller. My eyes are getting smaller? Our eyes are getting older. We're old. And this is what you're suing her over. Correct? Um, her statement's in there, yeah. I'm suing her over um, defamation um, and um, the various um, falsities that she used to bring my life to an end. And you understand, Mr. Many Depp, things. you understand, Mr. Depp, that you cannot, you, you are not suing her for any damage, alleged damage, or any accusations she made prior to writing this article. You're, you're aware of that. You'd agree with that, right? It's a bit compound, but okay. Could you say that again, <laughs> Mr. Rottenborn? You are not. You are suing a her lawsuit against her for what her was said in this in article Virginia only. For correct? anything that she did prior to writing this article, correct? You know that you can't do that, right? I, I have to say that I compound I, as I said at the top of this. My I've question never was seen this version of. The you are suing her piece. over the article uh, only. The version that I Correct. saw was the other one that I identified that was on the 18th. This is on the 19th, I believe. The you're 18th. suing her for both. 
was two years quite before. Quite possibly, sorry. Was quite. <laughs> sorry, possibly, and he keeps going. Um, he's not. He's not going to be done. Maybe that was the online version. Oh no, the Sun article is a different suit. Two so, years before uh, either the online or the print. I'm sorry, I was just. No, gonna I think, finish I, think I was just going to finish my answer. Oh, no. two this years before get like the this. online compound means too many questions in one. Out. In 2016, Amber obtained a, a domestic battle. violence restraining order against you from a California court. Correct? Because they were not wrong to. Yes, sir. And in obtaining they were that not wrong to. domestic violence restraining he order has to in answer May 2016, more she accused They're you fight. of domestic abuse, right? Yes, sir. Good and choice not having the female Michelle, attorney cross him. Blow up the, um, the third paragraph down. They're not going to let him finish. They're going to cut him right off if he starts to wander. They want him to give direct answers to direct questions, but they need to answer the question and more directly. And in the opinion piece that's before you, published in the Washington Post, Tomorrow's gonna be she a long, wrote, long day. then two years ago, I became a public figure representing domestic abuse. Correct? I, I can't say correct. She, she wrote it. And the piece doesn't did. contain your name. Correct? No, it does not. No. And other than mentioning the fact of abuse I accusations wonder. that were made two years prior to the publication of this article. Oh, I've got questions. I've the got opinion thoughts. piece doesn't contain any details of your time together. Correct? I'm getting very antsy. Oh, I, I thought. I think that her. He um, might. I, I think it's very easy. He's wondering. Right. He might. He might and just focus. Finger on just, just, that. just uh, on this article and not ask away. about any of the other stuff. Um, just right. focus right on the article. Just focus a, right on the defamation and ignore also, literally uh, everything uh, else. That would be brilliant. I would love to see it. That would be a good I cross really tactic. Focus on the article and ignore everything else as a circus. I'll move to strike this as hearsay, Your Honor. All right. All right. I'll do that. Oh. Next and, and, and I appreciate. Sorry, it's evidence. Uh, next, no, <laughs> sorry. Next question. It's, you don't get to okay. decide it's evidence. Thank that you, would Honor. be. M Mr. Depp, I, a I very appreciate interesting tactic. you've gotten a, 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 a lot of chance to talk and, and try and be respectful of the court's time and the jury's time. So I'm going to ask you that, that Just, question can again. Can you please answer I think my it's fucking a, question? It's a pretty simple yes or no question, which is You'd love other, it to be, sir. Uh, nothing, other, nothing simple in this case. Other than mentioning <laughs> the fact oh my. of abuse accusations made two years prior, this opinion piece does not contain any details of your time together. Yes or no? It contains uh, fragments. This piece here, I don't know, is this word for word with the other piece? And the article discusses proposed legislation, that which you just talked about, correct? You'd agree with that, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. And it discusses, discusses Amber's experiences after she had separated from you. You'd agree with that, right? Two years ago, I became the public face for domestic violence 2018 2016 it seemed to me that it uh, the puzzle was going to work no, no matter your angle sir okay. so so snappy i'll take that response as a no that this piece does not discuss uh, that th this piece does not discuss anything prior to Miss Heard separating from you, and it only discusses her experiences, her biographical experiences after she separated from you. Correct? I, I, I can't say that. Okay. Now, you're claiming that due to Amber's allegations of abuse, you can't be in Pirate 6. Correct? Um, I, I'm, I'm saying that after uh, everything had... Uh, um, basically hit its media targets and the hit pieces kept coming, it would be, I mean, I would be a real simpleton to not think that there was an effect on my career based on Ms. Hurd's. You don't have to think. Words, you have to prove there was an effect. Whether they mention my name or not. You became aware prior to the publication of this op-ed This might be a very good cross. you were likely out for Pirate 6 that Disney was considering dropping or, or dramatically shrinking your role, correct? This is the attorney on her team mm. I've liked the best so far. Can you pull up uh, Defense Exhibit 113, please? I want to see him focus. I think it will be a strong tactic to focus only on the article and the defamation, <clears throat> focus on nothing else, and then start characterizing everything else 
as a sideshow that's mudslinging and distracting. It will be very uh, interesting. Um, oh, Depp isn't even isn't even crossing into the bounds of rude to the attorney yet, and the judge hasn't instructed him to answer. Normally, you've got to get the judge. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Constantly Honor, instructing. One, so it's okay. One fourteen. So no, we're not even close to there yet. This is not bad. This is this is um, a mild court interaction. This is not. Oh, sorry, one. We're not more. even crossing into rude yet. We are a we are a mild sass. We're at a mild sass with this. Um, but I want to see. I I want to see if they stick with a narrowly tailored cross or not. It would be very smart. But it can be scary to do that. That's a it's a scary tactic, but it's smart knowing that she's still going to testify, and they get to rebut him through her Mr. testimony. Do you see? Dramas, yes. They don't have to hammer Sorry. at him. Do you have questions, Ryan? I, I I did. I was just giving Depp, time to to read. Depp can't just say. Do stuff, you see though. the 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 date of this article um, beneath those bullet points is October twenty fifth, two thousand eighteen. Do you see that? Yes, I do. And he's louder on the. Do you mic. see that the headline? Hide the rum. Johnny Depp is Objection, out Your as Honor, Jack Sparrow in Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean. He didn't stop talking when she objected, which was rude. It's. He, I was asking if he became aware. I'm not offering an article this for the a, truth. This it's is a his awareness. article from the Daily Mail, Your Honor. Right. Right. It goes I'm both ways, Your his, Honor. His awareness that he was likely I'll out. I'll allow that question. Thank you. Okay. It so, goes both Mr. ways, Depp, Your Honor. With the yes, were you aware that as of October 25th, 2018, were you aware about or not? two months before this op-ed was published, that it was being reported, as it is in this article, that Johnny Depp is out as Jack Sparrow in Disney's Pirates of the He's Caribbean film franchise as actor battles financial says, issues and personal dramas. If he Were says you aware no, of that? There's nothing he can do. Um, I, I wasn't aware of that, but it doesn't surprise me, given that I wasn't. two years had gone by of just constant. Um, worldwide talk about me being this wife beater understood but so you i'm sure that disney was trying to um cut ties to be safe the me too movement was in full swing at that point right and to the extent they were trying to cut ties to be safe that was as long as two months before you wrote the op-ed objection calls for speculation i'll allow it if you can answer I'm sorry, the question... To the extent that Disney was trying to cut ties with you, as you say, to be safe, mm -hmm. that was as much as two months prior to you publish or to, to Miss Heard publishing the op-ed in the Washington Post, correct? Objection, uh, Liner uh, Foundation. I'll allow it if you can answer it. October is two months before December. That's correct. <laughs> um, but it's odd that... They oh were boy! Going to release me it's gonna from be like my this. role as Captain Jack Sparrow, but yet kept me on every ride across the world, in the Pirates of the Caribbean rides. Like if they were gonna release me, the, then why didn't uh, they Los do Angeles, it? Los Angeles or the Hollywood one or whatever it is. Uh, Anaheim. It's an Anaheim. Three or four times, um, Shanghai. I mean, all over the world. So they didn't remove my character from the rides. They didn't stop selling merchandise. Of Captain Jack Sparrow, they didn't stop well, they selling opened the door dolls. For this. Of Captain Jack Sparrow, they didn't stop selling anything. I'm waiting for him to go. They People fucking love Captain Jack Sparrow. Didn't, they didn't uh, want me. Want there to be something uh, trailing behind me that they'd find. And you aren't aware. You said Pirate Six, in in your view, is dangling. You're you're not aware of if or when Pirate Six will be made. Correct. Uh, no, sir. Because uh, uh, no. how do you make pirates is, without him, Mr. Depp? If Disney came to you with three hundred million dollars and a million alpacas, nothing on this earth would get you to go back and work with Disney on a Pirates of the Caribbean film. Correct? That is true, Mr. Happened? Robinborn. What just happened? And you couldn't identify a single what? movie. I have no that idea what you that was. did between Sorry, the divorce and the op-ed in response to Miss Meyer's questions just now. You said there was a small tour. Um, of your band between that, but you couldn't identify a single movie that you did in the year or two prior to the op-ed, correct? Sorry, y'all, that was me. I, I uh, have to tell you that when I'm working on a film, I do my work, and when I'm wrapped on that film, oh, that's not answering I've done the question, work and I move on to the next. So I, I, I haven't seen. 
the majority of my films. I've seen a few only if I had to. But uh, so I, 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 it doesn't come right away to my head. That's films are not the first thing that I think about. And you spent a long time talking about the impact of the abuse allegations um, made in Miss Hurd's obtaining the temporary restraining order in, um, or the he domestic did. violence restraining order in May 2016. He right? did. Sure. And you said, you testified that you wanted to fight it, right? I'm also surprised. The fact that is, Fantastic you never fought the allegations. This is compound. It was only after Miss Hurd published this op-ed in 2018 that you that you fought them you never tried to fight them in 2016 did you That's i was advised by my attorneys compound. not to fight in Ooh, fact you signed the, the not only that we, we, we read Ooh, a his statement tone's a little hostile his tone's getting a little let's feisty. pull up um his tone's getting a little feisty interesting I hope they narrowly tailor this cross. Up, uh, it will be much more powerful if they do. Much more powerful if they do. But he's he's uh, getting DX very feisty in this questioning. Please. You're allowed to ask leading questions on cross, but yes. It's it's a lot of that. The alpacas were worth the wait. The al the alpacas were a moment. The tone Mr. is Mr. Depp, a lot. you see that this uh this says marriage of Depp. Uh, correct. I see that it's a, it's, a, it's a legal document. Can you scroll to the signature page, Michelle, please? <clears throat> it's a legal document. I want to see it too. This was a document that you signed as part of your divorce proceedings, correct? That's my signature indeed. Yes. Okay. Um, your honor move for admission of this document. Any objection to that document? No, no one honor. attorney per one witness. Evidence? So this is it. May we publish please? Yes, sir. One attorney, one witness. Mr. Depp, that is your signature on the right, correct? Yes, it is. Dated August 15th, 2016, right? That's what it says, yes. And um, Oh, Laura Wasser was you, his attorney you, for his you divorce? Were, um, Interesting. This is a document Kim Kardashian's signed, attorney, too. Right? For the third time, that is my signature, yes. Sir. You go to paragraph 27, please. Is this paragraph. a divorce? Paragraph oh, 27. The statement. Okay. And this paragraph is a joint statement that both sides agreed to release. And if you look in the, the block quote there, it's Johnny Depp the and Amber Heard have agreed to resolve the their divorce. Neither privately. party has made false accusations for financial gain. I'm glad they're getting into Neither this. Neither party I've got has questions made about false this accusations too. for financial gain. Did I read that right? You did, Mr. Robin. Take that down, Michelle. You're a very good reader. No, it would be too sassy. And that was a document you signed in August of 2016. Correct. Is that the same one that I signed three times before? Yes, yeah. that's the fourth. Well, I just I wanted to make clear that you <sighs> signed that clear. in the summer of 2016. Two Slow years. Slow down for the love of the court Ms. reporter. Heard published her op-ed. I don't have anything else for the for the day, Your Honor. Okay, you want to? Okay, Tracy. Right, we'll yes. Go ahead and take our Instagram, DJ, TikTok, okay. <laughs> and on my quick bits channel. I was going to stop you at the five o'clock anyway, right. so that's he's got fine. like two minutes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's the that'll conclude our day today. Again, don't do any outside research. Do not talk to anybody. We'll see you in the morning. Okay. All right. Have a good evening. And again, I'm going to leave this feed up until it cuts out because I like seeing what's going on in the courtroom at the end of the day. I like seeing who leaves first. They're waiting for the jury to leave and then they will do all the things. The court will ask if there's anything that needs to be discussed, anything to be brought to their attention, and then set the time for tomorrow, which should be 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I will be very interested to discuss Again, sir, just don't discuss the strategy the testimony here. with anybody since you're still testifying uh, to include your attorneys, okay? We'll see you in the morning, okay? 10 o'clock? Good? Yeah, we're good. Thank, you. Thank you, Your Honor. You're good. And then the judge probably walked off the bench because the bailiff just said, I'll rise, which means the judge is leaving. So it looks like we are wrapped for the day. And again, I will keep this feed up as long as we get to see it. Um, this lawyer is actually not being super jerky. This lawyer is um, being quick, but he hasn't really been tremendously difficult. I wonder who Johnny was giving the, the love to. 
if he was looking out into the audience. He stood around here with his lawyers more yesterday. Today, everybody has cleared out of the courtroom much quicker. I wonder if that's because people were lingering a bit yesterday. Amber Heard has not left nearly as quickly today as she did. So, so yes, y'all, same bat time, same bat channel. Um, the mods are like, wonderful. We will be here tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. We are riding through the rest of this testimony. And if they keep this cross-examination concise, and I'm leaving the feed up because I want to hear what's going on in court, but if they keep this cross-examination concise, his testimony may be done tomorrow um, before lunch, and um, we will see. Um, Darn it, they cut the feed. <laughs> I wanted to hear who they were talking to. I'm going to leave this up. I cut the audio um, because I didn't want it to squeal at me. I'm going to answer questions. It's, oh, and then we're done. All right. They cut out for sure. Let's see. All the feeds have cut out, which means the feeds from the court have cut out, which means we are absolutely done for the day. Wow, that was a day of testimony. It will be very interesting to see if this cross-examination keeps the focus on the article and the defamation. I hope they have the restraint to do that. It's a very powerful tactic. So, um, wow, 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 wow. We'll see. They went right into the defamation and narrowed it down on the print version of the article. He is suing over both the print version and the digital version of the article. Him trying to play semantics with the attorney is probably not going to go super well for him because the attorney is going to be bringing it back around. The attorney has a plan. I don't know if Depp can see the attorney's plan because Depp, um, Depp is locked horns in this case as a litigant. So it's going to be hard for him to see the strategy that the other side is playing because he is very locked into his side. So with this, we've got a lot of questions. I'm going to do a little swoopy swoop. Let me make a timestamp here so that I can stamp it for the replay crew if they got to this far. Wow. Well, we got to cross examination, y'all. We we made it. We made it to cross. Cross is always a little fiery. I like cross. Cross examination was literally always one of my favorite things. I never got to do it all that much because as a prosecutor, you do a lot of direct exam. But cross examination, man, feisty. Can Johnny Depp talk to his lawyers about the case now? No. Did you hear the the judge at the end said you cannot talk about it because um he is still in the middle of his testimony. So he, they can, they shouldn't even really talk about style. They should just say, Hey, take a deep breath. Be ready for tomorrow. Answer. Honestly, say what you remember. That's really it. They will get an opportunity for redirect. Yes. And then this judge allows a recross how much back and forth there is. That's why I don't normally do this with a pen, how much back and forth there is. We will see, but there will be redirect and recross or there can be redirect and recross. So we will absolutely see. We've now heard his story. We now know what it is. Tomorrow, we are going to get hammering on that joint statement. Neither side has made false accusations. So if neither side has made false accusations, how are you sitting in this court suing her for defamation when you said neither side has made false accusations? statements. And he's probably going to say, my lawyers told me not to fight it. My lawyers told me to sign it. So he's going to say the joint statement's not under oath. I did it to get out of this divorce. I wanted to be fucking done. I thought this is how I'd be done. I didn't think she'd ever make an op-ed about me that violated the settlement agreement. And we'll see how that goes around tomorrow. So, um, Emily, fidget. I fidget all the time. I mean, he, yep. <laughs> Emily, absolutely fidgeting. That's why I don't always, I have multiple I have multiple. So um, I saw a question that I just scooted by that said, how do they enforce no talking to the lawyers till tomorrow? The lawyers have an ethical duty. It's not really Johnny Depp so much. He knows, but his lawyers are to reinforce that. He probably needs to go get a meal, take a bath and get some rest. These are very long and grueling days for everybody. So but the joint statement was before she wrote the op-ed. So true in August, not in December. The joint statement was well before the two years before the op-ed. And I think the op-ed is probably a violation of that settlement agreement, which he started to allude to. So let's 
get to, do we know the demographics of the jury? I know it is mostly men with a few women and mostly young men. I don't know any more demographics than that. Again, I should just let you all know, since there are over 7,000 of you here, hello, good to see you. Um, you can go ahead and like and subscribe. I'm at the Emily D. Baker all over social. There's a new episode of the podcast out today that is audio only. The video will be up soon. The audio will cover week one of testimony, the yeeting of uh, both Gina Deuters and Eve uh, Barlow. And so that is available on the audio um, version. The video version will be up shortly, uh, probably Friday given how much I'm going to be streaming the next two days, because YouTube's going to be like, what, what, what are we doing with all of this? So that's where to find me. I'm going to keep giving a rundown, and then I am going to wrap for the day with a few questions. It will be very, um, it will be very interesting to see how cross continues to go. So we are going to do that. So yes, don't forget to do the likey, subscribey, YouTubey things. And let's go to questions to wrap this up. Yeah, you guys can like the video. That'd be great. Um, I saw the question. She does not specifically mention him in the op-ed. She doesn't. She never says his name. She references the time period when they were going through the divorce. So this is really in the realm of defamation by implication. When I've said this is a difficult case, it is not an easy case. Um, the, you know, the Cardi B Tasha K case that I covered is one of the more clear, um, clear cut items of defamation when it's like somebody saying somebody has herpes and then that person's like, I don't, I've told you I don't. And you keep banging on about it, but I've said I don't. And then goes into court and prove it. And then somebody testifies that they knew it was false. That's a whole different case than this. This is a difficult defamation case, but Johnny Depp said on the stand today, I already lost when that op-ed was out, when those allegations were made. So whatever happens here, I've already lost everything. He's telling his story. And I think that's more important to him. Defamation by implication is a valid theory for a civil lawsuit, saying it so strongly implies that it's him. Everybody knew that it was him. And this is the fallout from it. Because again, when it was released, she talked about two years ago, and that was his relationship with her two years ago. But it also said, um, it also said I became the face of like domestic abuse. Well, she had gone and gotten a domestic abuse restraining order. So is that untrue. I don't know. I don't know. So with that, um, let's get a few more questions. Uh, question, if at all, would you ask more questions or different questions to Johnny as the plaintiff? I think she would have asked more in-depth questions. I don't know if they were going to get much more in depth with him. They've done his deposition. They know what other evidence is coming in. So it's again, from the outside, we don't have their strategy and we don't know what other building blocks they have, right? Johnny Depp's not the only witness here. This is six weeks of trial. So they are stacking this like stairs or like building blocks to build the entire picture. So if they don't need to pin him down on stuff that could ultimately be more damaging, if he doesn't remember it, they might just keep it moving. So I am not surprised because again, they have others. So what would I ask? I don't know. When I go back and look through my notes today, I might have some things. There were definitely things I had questions on. Um, the kind of drama around the birthday party and that financial meeting left some questions for me. And we kind of clear those up in the chat, but those aren't cleared up for the jury. They can't go do research. They can't figure out what that meeting was about and the money stuff. Um, but the attorneys could have fought for effect on the hearer. When you went into this party with Amber Heard, he described her as being bratty and childish. When you went into that dinner with her after you were late, after you had this meeting, how were you feeling and why? Well, I was feeling like everything was crumbling down because I had been told this and this and that. That's not offered for the truth that he had lost money. It's offered for the truth of it's offered for the effect on the hearer. What effect those words had on him, it explains his behavior. It's not offered to prove that he lost money. And that's where some of those hearsay objections could be fought out a little bit more to give more context to the jury, if that makes sense. Um, is he allowed to go home and remind himself of the movies he couldn't remember as long as he doesn't talk to his attorneys about it? I mean, if he has some way to go back and look, I think it might be a little late now. They might narrow it down on redirect, but it just depends. Um, so, no, they, Olivia said law and, law and crime put the severed finger as the thumbnail. That, no, no. 
feels no. Um, now I am become death. Question: Johnny already won one public opinion. I think this might change public opinion for him, but there's still a long way to go. So I think he might be swaying the court of public opinion. That's what I've been seeing in my comments, but not everybody is swayed. And some people are saying, okay, but this is mutual. So yes, she, she was abusive towards him, but this was mutual. And we think he was also abusive towards her. So again, there's still a way to go in this trial. Um, oh, I meant to get back to this and I didn't. I will get back to it when I'm done. Um, is he really proving how he is loyal to a fault? He is really proving he's loyal to a fault. And um, with the testimony about his mother and with the testimony about other things, he definitely is showing that he is a loyal, loyal individual for sure. Um, nine zero one nine said turd is Johnny Depp's smear campaign against her. Evidence will show. I mean, I, I don't know. It, again, the poop on the bed, there's a photograph and it lends itself to the Amber Turd where that name came from. I don't know. I've seen it a lot. I've seen people say it, but it's the photos are the photos, whether she did it or not. The photos are the photos. Frankie shared that losing an abusive parent is complicated. Can't imagine having an abusive partner during that. Yeah, he, he was definitely going through a lot. And I think we've learned that about him, that he was going through quite a lot. Uh, my grandpa went much the same way. It was horrific. Talking about Johnny Depp's mother passing. Uh, excuse me. I water. Does it matter who files first? In divorce cases, it can matter who files first. In celebrity divorce cases, the person who files first tends to have the opportunity to control the narrative through their lawyers. Their lawyers can release statements. The filing party knows the date it's being filed on and can pre uh, kind of release statements to the media beforehand as the filing's going down. So it gives you more opportunity to control the narrative. So in traditional divorce, it can matter some. In celebrity divorce, it matters quite a lot. And he did have a celebrity divorce attorney, Laura Wasser. But I also got the sense that he didn't, he didn't want to, to rile her by filing for divorce. Like he told her he was filing, but he was, he said he was trying to like placate and keep her calm and didn't want to like rush to file. And I think that put him on the back foot, but given everything he shared about the relationship, I'm not surprised. I think the dogs should absolutely sue for defecation, defamation. The dogs, the dogs uh, reputations have been sullied and I think they would be pissed. Uh, Brianna, Hello, I'm way behind, so I don't know if you even answered this. I know everyone else involved can't look stuff up around the case, but are Amber and Johnny allowed to? Um, they're sitting in court as the party, so they've seen all the witness testimony. They can go watch commentary. If I was their attorneys, I'd advise them not to. You don't want people to get in their head during a case like this. I would advise them to shut out the world, listen to some music, take a hot bath, and go to bed. But they might want to look at everything that's being said. I don't think it's helpful, but yes, they are allowed to because they've seen all the witness testimony. The commentary is just, is just, um, I don't want to say superfluous. I think it's important that we talk through these cases, but the commentary is not uh, relevant or damaging or, or is not going to change things one way or the other. Oh, uh, Lord, I said, sorry, I just got here and heard about the turd on the bed. Is this the woman or the, or is this woman on drugs? We don't know. Um, her friends, said that they might have done it or it was a joke or something. We'll get back into it more. But her attorneys brought it up in opening statement saying saying that Amber has fecophilia and there's no way she would poop on a bed. Will the the shitting on the bed of it all. But again, I hope that they just narrow down this cross to just the defamation in the lawsuit. Cause that attorney, uh Rotten Bomb, Rotten, yes, I think it's Rotten Bomb, did a very good job in the opening of keeping it very concise. I liked his opening statement better than umbrages. And I really think that if he narrows down the cross, he can then argue to the jury later, look, everything you've heard around all of this is irrelevant. It's whether this part of this article was true or not. Let's focus on it. He is trying to spin about her and none of it matters. This is all that matters. And you can only do that if you actually stick to this is all that matters. Question, could Amber have tried to settle this case? I don't know if Johnny Depp wanted to settle. Um, he has the right to say no. I think unless she has something really shocking and proof she loses in the eyes of the public, even if he loses in court. I think that might be part of the point here. 
that even if he loses this defamation case that she loses in the court of public opinion, I think that's a big part. Um, Tiffany said, I have teeny wrists and a heart problem. I wear my watch on the bottom because the ECG reads better snug on the bottom. Well, that makes very good sense. Um, I do love the readers on the Apple watches. I was just confused about her watch being underneath. Chainsaw, do you think he can win this? I think it's going to be hard. I think it's a hard case. I don't think it's impossible. I think for me, we will need to see her testimony. I can very realistically see the jury finding for no one. No one wins in all of this. And I think that would be true to where we're at, that no one wins with this. I think that would be very true, very true to where we're at. Rebecca said the amount of respect and protectiveness he's shown her still in this trial shows alone he isn't an obsessive ex-husband out for revenge. And I hope that the experts will bring that in and explain it to the jury. Because again, as you're watching this, so many of your comments have said that explaining this along the way helps. The commentary I give, the lawyers in this case can't give, they have to run the case. You need an expert to give that context to the jury. They can only argue in closing what's in evidence and reasonable inferences made from those ev from that evidence. They can't make up wild shit. Um, Prairie Girl asked, how do the metaphors make more sense? So two, th two things depending on the time this came in. One, um, well, no, I think the metaphors in the article talking about steering the ship is an illustration to pirates. But after seeing Johnny Depp talk now for a day and a half, he relies on metaphor very heavily in his speech. He talks about dodging raindrops of lava, and he's talked about um, his finger looking like Mount Vesuvius. He has talked about things through metaphor so much. I wonder if her using that writing style was also a dig at her talking about powerful men are like a ship that needs to be steered. I don't know if we'll see that as her natural speaking pattern or her natural way of expressing herself. And we're going to have to wait till she testifies. But from what I've seen in other interviews and her deposition, it doesn't seem that she relies on metaphor as heavily as he does in everyday speech. So I wonder if the reliance on metaphor in this article is again, um, kind of a dig at Johnny. So he knows that she's talking about him. So he knows that she's aware. And the ship reference to pirates, I think it's a double entendre pointing that the article was pointed at him, um, but maybe for his benefit only. Um, so will it hurt his case to say that he agreed with portions of the op-ed? I don't know. I think again, the defense is characterizing him as an obsessed ex-husband hell bent on revenge saying I agree that that some of the points made here matter. Does it hurt him? No. Does it make him relatable? Maybe. He's not saying violence is okay. He's saying it's really, I, this is what I got from the two sides, the two sides of the coin. It's really fucking weird to see someone that's been abusive to you, write an article about abuse saying that they were abused when they've been abusive to me. That's That's what I got, that it was surreal, but that the point matters, but that he didn't abuse her. The point is important, but he didn't want to be made the point of, I guess. So I don't know if it hurts him in the eyes of the jury. It depends how it gets argued. The jaded said, I don't anticipate snippiness. I do anticipate him being a bit difficult and shutting down if he's berated in a similar fashion um, that Amber would speak. That We're going to see that tomorrow, I think, because we've already seen the attorney cutting off his questions, which is not inappropriate. Um, it's part of cross-examination, but we've already seen that. And I think we'll see that Connie said, Emily, another lots of caps. Caps are hard for me to read. Um, I am dyslexic. So when I say no caps in the chat, it's not only because it pulls my attention, but all caps are hard for me to differentiate, which is part of it. No shade. I'm just letting you guys know why I do that in the chat because a lot of you are new. Um, another YouTube lawyer referred to this case as defamation per se and not per quad. And thus damages don't have to be proven. Does Johnny Depp have to prove damages? I think they are going under both theories. We will see what the jury instructions say. Domestic violence and domestic abuse is a crime, so it can fall under defamation per se. But I think he also needs to show the damage. And we saw them talking about reputational damage. The damage, I think, is there. It doesn't hurt them. But again, if the jury doesn't necessarily say, oh, well, you were... Um, 
the cats are playing at my feet. <laughs> you were already out of pirates before this happened. So he didn't lose pirates, but did he have other reputational damages? And then he is asking for $50 million at the end of the day, and he will need to show what that is for too. So some of that, um, some of that matters, but yes, in a defamation per se, you don't have to prove damages, but they might introduce both theories to the jury. Um, Ashley said, I don't think anyone wants to bring JK Rowling in and ask about the intent to keep him as Grindelwald. Her activism for victims and survivors of female victims of DV is widely known. I don't think JK, I, again, I don't think JK Rowling is on this witness list and I don't think those are ultimately her decisions she had said she wanted to keep him, but I think that's a studio decision, but I don't know enough about that circumstance to talk on it, but I don't, I don't recall seeing her on the witness list. Kristen said Johnny Depp seemed to take issue with the joint statement. Oh, we're going to get into that more tomorrow, I think. Um, in that, I got the clear impression he seemed to feel coerced into it somehow. I'm curious if Redirect will clear it up. I think Cross is going to clear it up. I think he's going to keep snapping away at it during Cross. And I think that's a good place for him to talk about it more because once the defense attorney opens the door, it's easier for him to kind of just go into it. And they're like, you open the door. Um, Pondered Bridget is obsessed with your pen twirling. Thank you, Bridget. We are, we are, we are trying not to be loud when I drop the pen is the thing. I'm trying not to be loud when I drop it. So I'm going to do a few more questions and then we are going to wrap for the day. I'm going to kind of distill everything that we've covered today and everything that I've heard and then do a recap. That'll be on quick bits. And by the way, I'm going to try to do a one minute recap on Instagram and a three minute on TikTok to kind of summarize the rest of the testimony today. So um. Gary Overcast, could he just be doing this to get his story out? Yes. Do I think that's the main purpose? Yes. Is that an improper purpose? No. This is a very um, main purpose. So this, this can be the point to tell his side of the story in a court of law. It has more impact than just releasing his own op-ed or just um, just trying to, I don't know, share it on social. This has much more impact. We are glued to it. And I know stream over stream over stream of this has thousands of people who want to know what's happening in this case. So yes, I think this is a big part of the point. Um, I'm going to look for a few more questions and then we're going to go. Thank you for that. I mean, that's that's why you've got lawyers watching trials, commenting on lawyers doing trials. And again, I don't always agree. But again, if I had to watch myself in trial, I probably wouldn't always agree with what I did. Sitting here is a much different experience than standing in court processing this in real time. I'm only focused on the speaker and the answerer and the chat. The attorney that's asking questions in the team is focused on what's coming up next, what came up before, what needs to be proved in closing, what the jury's looking like, what the other attorneys are looking like, what the objection is, how we're answering the objection. There is so much more going on. It is very much easier for me to be narrowly focused here and do that. So I try to give grace when I see things. I point them out because that's us having a conversation. Um, yeah, so I am double checking on my research in my notes in Virginia because I said I would and I wanted to and because I wanted to make sure there some states call things funny things and I wanted to make sure I was dialed in I don't doubt that the Kardashian case is popping off I will be checking in on it as I'm done here and try to give some updates but there's no cameras in the courtroom is the online op-ed the same as the printed version the headlines are different and there are multiple count here. Let me pull up my notes. He charged three counts of defamation, I believe. Let me pull up that part of my notes um, as well. There are three parts of defamation. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So some of it is my throat being done. Some of it is to the print version and some of it is not so. Let me just pull up. We're going to just clear it up. It's in my case brief too when I broke this down, which is up on the channel. Uh, let's see. He has, no, that's not the one. I, the, I've got like three research documents on this case for different things. So count one, 
This is a great question. Thank you, C. Westervolt, for letting me get into this. Count one is defamation for statements in the Washington Post op-ed online publication um, from December 19th, uh, 2018. Count two is defamation for statements in the Washington Post op-ed print edition on December 19th, 2018. And then defamation in the op-ed published via Twitter link from the online version when she shared it out. So he's suing for three counts of defamation, the online version, the print version, and her sharing the online version on Twitter. So we will, if you guys are interested in a quick rundown on what's going on with Black China, Rob Kardashian, and everybody, we will talk about it um, in just a second. I'll do it as I wrap up, but I also gave a summary of that in today's podcast ed- episode. Black China, me, I'll do it in a minute. Me, I'll do it right now. <laughs> Thank you for this question, Kyla. Um, Black China is suing Rob Kardashian, Kim Kardashian, Courtney Kardashian. No, she got dismissed. Chloe Kardashian. She did sue Courtney, but Courtney got dismissed. Um, Darn I got to start over. Too many Kardashians. Rob Kardashian, Kim Kardashian, Khloe Kardashian, Kylie Jenner, Kris Jenner, suing all of them. Some of the counts go to Rob Kardashian only for revenge, P-O-R-N, for things he released. And some of the counts go to the allegation that the Kardashians killed her TV show, Rob in China. And Black China is Rob Kardashian's uh, baby mama. They were living together. They broke up. Rob, the Kardashian Jenners say that the show was dropped because of the breakup. Black China says that they killed the show because they didn't like her or to interfere with her, to interfere with her financial gain. And that is in jury selection, finished jury selection and got into witness testimony today. So you have Kim Kardashian, Khloe Kardashian, Kylie Jenner, Kris Jenner, and Rob Kardashian all in a courtroom with Black China. Uh, Black China's mother has already been yeeted from the courtroom. That happened yesterday. Kendall was also sued and dismissed. So the the witness or the exhibit list is quite long. It's a lot of emails between execs. And the emails between the executives and everybody involves emails to Kim Kardashian, emails to Kylie, and whose show, Life at Kylie, they say replaced Robin China. Um, between Chris Jenner, things that Khloe Kardashian said on social media and elsewhere, but there was no direct tie between uh Kendall or between um Courtney, so they were dismissed out of the case. Rob Kardashian also countersued, well, didn't countersue. He sued her in another lawsuit that seems that he is dropping. So um, Black China's Black China's arguments that they killed her show are not terrible. And I don't think the revenge porn allegations are terrible either. I think there is, I think that this is, I don't think this suit is BS at all. I think this suit is um needs to be litigated it needs to go to trial and if they did interfere with that contract and go to e and say kill this show she could win on that i don't know if she will have damages i don't know if they bought out her contract or not but we will see i think it is a um i think it is a solid question to go to the jury and it hasn't had quite as much litigation as this case has so we will see ah uh, so with that, the the standard in Virginia is just your standard preponderance. So you're kind of more likely than not over 51%. So at least more likely than not preponderance of evidence. I just wanted to make sure. Emily, you need to bing. Oh, I didn't do the bing. We binged way earlier today. We'll do the bing. We'll do the bing right now. We might bing again. Y'all have been amazing. Thank you for liking and subscribing. We are going to bing again in just a minute. Um. Why is Rob the only non-K? I think it's because his family hates him because he's a boy. No, I'm teasing. It's because his father was Robert Kardashian. So he is um, Robert Kardashian Jr., I believe, or Robert Kardashian the third, or whatever. He's a he's a junior or a the third, and that's why. I was trying to tease. I shouldn't tease. But we're doing it anyway. All right, let's bang. Oh, it binged! Move your head! Oh my God, that was so loud in my ears for everyone in headphones. I'm sorry. I still had, I still had my gain a bit gained up for court, but yeah, we're about to bing again. So that's what's going on in that case. And I can't wait to see what happens in it. Did you see the article where China complained she wasn't getting child support from either? I did see that. It it fell on tough ears for me. I was like, mm, 
girl. Because <laughs> uh, they're like, yeah, your kid's with you one day a week, but that's not going to come in in this trial. It's not relevant to whether or not they killed her show years and years and years ago. Um, so as a dyslexic with ADHD, what is the easiest format? I am very good with title case. Title case helps. I need spaces. They help. But the, um, the, oh God, my brain is so tired. The Amazon devices, the Amazon reading devices. <laughs> I listen to 90% of things on audible, but the Amazon devices, the Kindles, <laughs> the Kindles, they have a dyslexic font that's really, really good. So my whole family has Kindles to use the dyslexic font on the Kindle. So yes, I finally circled back to that. We're at a basic preponderance of the evidence, which is essentially a balance of probability standard. I just wanted to make sure Virginia didn't call it something funky. And then, you know, there's clips of Emily on law to people are like, she's not, she doesn't know what she's talking about. It's like, no, I'm just really tired. <sighs> Please, Emily, explain why Johnny Depp didn't mention specifics when asked if he lost anything post allegations. He only said nothing less than everything. I don't know. I don't know why he didn't get into it. I don't know why he, I don't know. I don't know why he didn't get into, um, I got taken off of pirates. I mean, it kind of came in. I lost, you know, friends. I lost money. I lost jobs. I don't know. He's like, I lost everything. That's a bit vague for me. I get the feeling, like I get the emotion of it, but it's, it's uh, it's not super specific. And I wonder what other evidence the lawyers have in mind for that because they didn't bring it up. But they'll also be able to get to it in redirect because now we're getting into whether he could have lost pirates before the op-ed or not. So they will have another crack at it tomorrow. Do you think Johnny Depp's lawyers will ask Amber who the article is about? Seems like most straightforward approach if it isn't about JD. I, I think it's possible. I think it's possible. So... Emily, you're going to have karaoke voice by the end of the week. I might, I might, but that's okay. I need to just, um, A, I have some throat coat stuff and I just need to make sure that I don't get like hyper excited. I shouldn't have been screaming songs at karaoke after multiple long days of live events. I should not have been doing that. I should have been protecting my voice. I didn't, but this is also why I don't stream trials top to bottom day in, day out, every day for, for weeks. I, I literally can't. Um, but others will. So I will, when I'm not streaming, I will share where I am when I pop around and go see everybody else. Will Amber take the stand? I think Amber has to take the stand. I think she absolutely has to. I don't think we'll see that for a few weeks though. Question. Can they use the emails between Amber and the ACLU and can they use the rough drafts? Um, it depends if they need them for impeachment. So possibly, um, are you talking about the open dyslexic font on Kindle? I, I'm not sure if it's called open dyslexic, but there is a specific dyslexic font on Kindle and I love it. Are you going to stream the entire six weeks? No, I am not. I am not. I am going to stream all of Depp's testimony, which I think will be done with tomorrow. I hope to stream Heard's testimony and it depends if it when it lines up with other things I have to do. I'm traveling a bit next week for a conference. So there are also work things that I have to do that are going to prevent me from some of that, but it doesn't mean I'm going to not just pop into other things. There's also, I need to get going because there's stuff that's popped off in Rust. There's the Kardashian suit. So there are still other cases I'm covering that I need to go need to go check on. And with that, I might go see if the other law tubers are still talking around the world um, and go say hello. But with that, I am going to wrap our stream at three hours and let our amazing mod squad go and come see, go see my kiddos who just got home from school. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Uh, somebody's in my hallway. Trial will resume at 10 a.m. Eastern time. I'm going to set the stream the same way I did today for five minutes before trial starts. And we will all hop in here and wow, buckle up for cross-examination, folks. There's going to be a lot to talk about. Emily's going to come in with her objections. We're going to be coming in hot for cross-examination tomorrow. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a law nerd. Go follow me around the interwebs. Join the text crew. You guys know what to do. You guys know what to do with all the things. I appreciate you. Thank you. I will see you later. I'm sure there are others still talking about this. If you want to go stream bounce, because we're not done for the day, I've got to go do some of my wrap ups though. So thank you for being here. Mods. Thank you. I'm going to be sending gift baskets. I appreciate all of you. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye. Connect with me everywhere. I'm at the Emily D Baker. If you guys want to join the text, just text emily.com. 
If you want to join the channel, lawnerdsunite.com. Happy to have you support what we do here on the YouTube.